It is the new uh, time slot for the Paranormal Narcast. Nighttime. Nighttime, Waste guys. Spookier, right? we're gonna, yeah, way spookier. Uh, we're going to have a very special episode today full of good stuff. I've got some creepy videos for us to watch. And also, we're going to be, uh, for the first time ever on the Paranormal Narcast, going to be having a live paranormal uh, investigation. investigation. Live. On Nartapes. Um, on Nartapes Network. Uh, Poobot says, sup, sup, sup. What a poop butt. Rocky What's says, up, yo. Fantini says, hey, Poo. Poo says, sup, Chris. Chris Fantini says, getting ready to be creeped out. Yes. Uh, speaking to also Rocky and Chris Fantetti, I've added up your guys' uh, season two on our tapes network donation nation scores. And uh, Rocky is at 900 something, and Fantetti is at 500 something, and they are like the two top. Um, Pat Mac is also going to be pretty big, too. I haven't cat. Uh, Calculated his quite yet. Tussie too might have a good, uh, have a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. Tussie's also gonna have a good one. Uh, I'm not done yet, so I'm just still doing it. But it's an R Tapes Network Paranormal Narcast. Uh, fuck, you wanna play the intro? Sure. Ready? Oh, yes. Paranormal. Eleven watching, five likes. Smash that like button, guys. This is the Paranormal Narcast. Give us some love. Um, also tonight we have uh, a bottle of tequila. So if you guys want us, to, you want to pour us a shot, you can go to the website. And you can order up a shot for us, and uh, we'll get a drink and we'll get it thinking. We'll get the drink sinking. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. All right. Very good. So tonight on the Paranormal Narcast, we're gonna play some videos, some commentary, and also we are going to be presenting. Uh, a live paranormal investigation from our own haunted property that we're live at right now. It's real. It's real. We're going to have Jimmy in the uh, record store with the lights off, with a flashlight, and he's going to try and communicate with the ghost. How much uh, on our daily goals should we get until, to, to unlock that, maybe? To unlock that, we got to get at least a couple sales. Okay. Let's call two, three... Yeah, three. Three, three sales. Three sales, and um, then we'll no, start the... No number amount, just if we get three sales. Three sales, and then we'll be sending Jimmy into the store to be uh, uncovering... There you go. Uh, Luckily for them, we just want to do this anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, Dude, cu we're curious. Those full brawls look sick. Hey. You look like you're about to uh, climb a mountain or um, climb your cousin. Uh, we got 12 watching, 5 likes, hell like yeah. Squeal like a piggy. Smash that like button, guys. There was a... We went to Target last night. Late night Target. And there's this shirt there. From that reminded me of you. It said, I laugh at dad jokes. Oh, yeah. Because I want to wear that and um, wear it around you. I just think you can both scoop up. Yeah. How yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Perfect. How that? Let's see. Feel good? Oh, yeah. Nice and centered. You All right. Smash good? that like button, guys. Um, let's go... Uh, let's play... Let's just jump right in and let's play a few videos. Cool. You um, got some? Yeah, I got some. Cool. Uh, will you go, it's on the YouTube, my, the Narcapes YouTube playlist, Paranormal June 13. Yeah, just a, just a moment. It keeps uh, freezing. It keeps freezing. Well, mm. we're working on it. All right. I don't think it's working on my end. Um, we got 12 yeah, watching like right yeah. now, and um, we got the four likes, so let's get some more likes up there. If you yes. have yet to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe to the channel. And um, head over to narcapes.com slash GTG, and please consider making a donation towards the cause or buy some merch. Um, all of that, any money coming in goes towards our daily goal, whether it's a donation or a merch sale. And um, yeah, it would help us out a lot. And and we like that. We like that a lot. Dano. Yeah, That's we got right. Chivo in the mix. All right. Uh, I like that. All right, just a moment. Just a moment. 
All right, so um, I guess I'll look, I'll look it up and um, I I want yeah you were right so, we uh, should two that is that is that sound right yeah all right there's so this one that was from uh you know from uh the other day we is saw this, it I was saying the, last night I think that we're definitely gonna play this one again is this the uh the one I think it yeah. is the what the fuck video of the year oh Dane you have to come see this yeah all right yeah we're waiting for you on huh? Dane. I thought you were pooping. This video rips. Yeah, this is one of the weirdest videos I've ever seen in my life. All right, guys. So we're we're starting off with a real heavy hitter. Um, for as far as paranormal videos go, this one I like a lot. Um, Ricky, I I can I think it's safe to say he likes this one. And if it's a fake, I'm gonna say it's an amazing fake. There is definitely some things about it that. It looks like it could be like kind of clone stamps, like the way they all move the same way, but that also could be some robot shit. Yeah. Um, there you go, Dame. All right, Dame hasn't seen this yet. Uh, we're pulling it up right now. Team Fortress says, oh, hi, who the sexy in the right box thing? That's Funkle. Don't you remember me from last night, Team Fortress? On the phone with Nariyoki now? Okay. Live on the Narcix Network. This is the what the fuck video of the year on YouTube. I like this. Alright, so they're driving on a. Oh, who what is, is that? that? What is that? Who is that? And then, and then, the and then, the crew. We got the whole fucking crew. They all are starting to do the same fucking thing. And then there's some sort of player or some sort. Run it back. Come One back more time. What the well, fuck? Right? Yeah, right? Uh, like, I've like, contacted the Eric the Bison. I like this. I like this. Yeah, I think it's fair to be skeptical. It's fair to be skeptical. The weirdest thing is how lanky they look. Their arms and legs are all so, like, yeah. long. We got 17 watching, six likes. Smash that like, guys! Please smash that like button, hit that subscription. All right, guys, what do you think about that? DDLV says flash mob, maybe. Fantasy says what the fuck? Yeah, what was that? What do you guys think? Team um, Fortress Two says, oh hi, who's a sexy in the right box thing? Left box. That's Funkle. He says, yeah, you would twer, you were tw you, yeah, you twerking was good as fuck. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, Fantasy says that was fucked up. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Skeptical? You guys want to see me trick a gween? A gween. You see me in the Funko Camp twerking? I don't know. Maybe so. Yeah, that was definitely fucked up. That yeah, was, that was weird as shit, dude. That one, um, not really feeling. I like it. If that, or no, I'm saying like if I was there. Yeah. I wouldn't be feeling that for sure. I would be like, I'd be like let's get the fuck out of here. I see some weird shit, but if I saw that, like, what oh, says, oh, what says, goddamn tweakers? <laughs> yeah, for, maybe. maybe. Goddamn tweakers. Yeah, they, they, they look. Some... They did look tweak the fuck out. Oh, yeah, DDLV says, yo, but what, what about the girl that died in the hotel in L.A.? Oh, we that that yeah, we've never played the hotel, at least the land footage. Is yeah. that is that paranormal or conspiracy? A little bit of both. 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 I think um, almost everything that can be discussed on Corey's show can be discussed. On this show, Team Fortress says too fake. Why would the guy in the truck be recording? Because there's a lot of people that uh, places that require dash cams. There's yeah, there is. A, that is one of the. That's all. That's a very. That's is, very sensible. Also, what I think that critically. If sure. it's real, this is what I think maybe happened. There was some sort of crash or something where the Men in Black come to try and cover it up, and this person maybe heard a crash and saw it maybe crashing down to Earth. It was like I got to get over there and see what the fuck that is. Mm. My thing is the there was like a there's like. My thing is the men in black are like androids, synthetics. Yeah. And that there was like a there was like a, a fat like a man fa a factory over there. That video. And they all and there was like a br a, br a containment breach, and a bunch of the uh, like android men in black, uh, 
whatever the fuck they were, got out, and uh, that beacon was like, the, the dude, like the caretaker, dude, like whoever's the team in charge of like containing them back, like trying to send a single flare that they all come to. Mm. And they're yeah. all they're all like just send, supposed to go out in the world and be like weird businessmen. Should we watch the uh, elevator footage here? Yes. All right. So this footage we have queued up is uh, the the last known. Um, Time at like last time anyone seen Alyssa, Alyssa Lamb. She died at the what used to be called the Cecil Hotel here in downtown. Now Los it's called Angeles. the Stay on Main, I think. Yeah, and um, no one know. And when they found her, she was in the water tower of the hotel. Of the hotel, and the only reason they knew is because people were complaining about the water taste, and found out she was in there. But there's no way she could have gotten in there. It's a water tank. I think this one's really beautiful because, to me, the when you look into it, the the explanation is very simple, and um, proves uh, and could end up being the explanation for a lot of paranormal phenomena. And so, one of the theories that it, it's invisibility cloaks. That is absolutely what I she, think is going she, on. She uh, she tweeted about invisibility cloaks right before this video happened. I think. What? Yeah. And, Not uh, right before it happened, but like her one of the, the tweets she tweeted before she died was invisibility cloaks are real. There you go. Yeah. And, or, and, and also, so, if not if not actually invisibility cloaks, there's there's plenty of military technology that is similar, and maybe it was like they they got her into the fucking into the thing, so maybe they just were shooting something at her and making her go like. Yeah. Yeah. It seems a visibility cloak to me because it looks like she's struggling. Like someone's yeah, grabbing like her arm. Around. Yeah, but what he's saying is like a gun, like in something like Portal, where like uh, the gun can just like fuck with people's yeah. like shit. And um, and there there was a military um, uh, cloaking technology um, firm or like a military weaponry firm. Look, and now she's like wigging out. Yeah, she seems hella wigging out. Like, or she's got a. Computer. Well, also the other thing too is that like she's, this video is one thing. Then the way her body was found is crazy because yeah. uh, the, she was in the, uh, the water tower. Not just that, but the fact that there was no way she was like, she was completely naked, and there was no way there was none of her clothes. Were, her clothes were like like in the bottom of the tank, and she was naked or something like that. And she, look at her hands. Yeah. Yeah, that it looks like she's being she's being fucked around with. I think it's some kind of gun. Yeah. I think it's uh, that, uh, invisibility technology. And some kind of like weird energy weapon or something. Yeah. Like. Also, the creepy thing is the door doesn't close this whole time. Yeah, <clears throat> not until she leaves. It's all, some kind of weird, crazy shit. Last one. Uh, Do you think I've heard? I, I heard she was playing the elevator game. See how she presses buttons. There's like something game on. There's some game online about an elevator thing to summon spirits. I bet. I feel like that. That sounds like something that came after this video. Yeah. Mm. Like an urban legend that was made up after this video. This video is pretty yeah, old. Be pretty convenient. The, uh, this is from like 2013. Yeah, the doors don't even try to close. That's the weird thing. Well, they, then they do. Oh, and also, the, I, I've done some research into this. There was all kinds of fucking uh, weird shit going on that in that building. That building also was where Richard uh, yeah, yeah. Ramirez, the Night Stalker, yeah. fucking lived. And, and then the, Austri the Austrian copycat, yeah. the journalist guy. And that place had a lot of suicides, including one lady who jumped out and landed on a dude, and they both died. And... Um, I think the Zodiac may have stayed there. There was too. also a fucking. Uh, no, because nobody knows who the Zodiac is. Yeah. Uh, so there's no way to know that. Yeah, that's uh, right. And uh, uh, there was like. One of the creepiest things about it is that there was the, the. Under the Cecil Hotel, they would rent out places. Um, and like for like space, like office spaces. And they was they rented one out that was a company called like Industrial like Light, something like that. And uh, they. Their whole thing was uh, researching uh, invisibility technology for the military. And uh, as soon as the lamb shit happened, they moved out. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, and the tank was closed. Yeah. And there was no physical way. The whole only hole in the tank was too small for her to have actually gone through. Definitely. Uh, DW, DDLV says, I looked up a site called Creepy California. There's mad cool shit out here. Yes, All it's right. true. Um, let's see what else. Like, I got all right, that was a good one. I like that one. Classic. That one is very um, definitely, definitely paranormal, definitely unexplained. And uh, I think that strange military cloaking technology and energy weaponry is um, an important equalizer in many of the paranormal, unexplained mysteries that the world has. You know, you know some maybe some shady shit going on there in that room. Teleportation. We watched a lot of uh, videos that could be explained with teleportation last week, and the week before. 
One time Colleen and I went to that hotel actually Oh yeah? Like we walked around there and um Yeah it was actually a pretty nice hotel it didn't feel like Like one of those inn- Yeah It felt like a real they had like ping pong tables out in the bar in Was it the Cecil? Yeah it was well the thing it wa- it was the same hotel I don't know if it was called the Cecil I think it was Did you see any uh invisible people? Uh [laughs] Maybe I dunno I sa- I can't answer that question. Yeah [laughs] [laughs] But maybe it's very possible. I saw some normies. They were kind of invisible in society so yeah they were playing ping pong at the table. They had a nice bar. Tall bar. Uh big open room. We didn't go in the elevator though. We walked to the elevator. But we were too scared to do anything. Yeah it's scary. Yeah really weird. Donny what the fuck's going on with that shit? Yeah okay. Yeah It's a scary, it's a scary zone. Maybe um there's some sort of uh you know Ghoulish ghastly vortex there where a lot it attracts bad and uh Yeah negative energy. Who knows? Hell yeah. Much less I wanna know how she got even on that roof. What the fuck is that about? That's the whole thing like how like what she had to have like gone out a window or something. If she wanted to like kill herself she's gonna go into the uh the water tank and open up like the thing by herself. Which she can't and then Yeah. Is there like is there like the news footage too? Cuz there was the news that was like talking about it too. And they like showed the the water tank when they were looking through it and like It's fucking weird. Like The news didn't go into it too heavy. No it's it they just say that she like you know she She's found in the water tank and that's that. Yeah and they didn't really follow up much on it. No, if you're just joining us right now, we got 14 watching, 9 likes. This is the Nartapes Network, a uh, live stream, uh, live streaming media web channel brought to you by Nartapes, a record label in Los Angeles run by uh, two of these guys sitting right here, me and Isaac, and then two of the guys over there, Fungo and Jimmy. And uh, this is our weekly Tuesday paranormal podcast, uh, webcast, Narcast, paranormal Narcast. Uh, uh, we do a different uh, live web show every night of the week, uh, different themed ones. This is our Tuesday night paranormal show. Uh, Wednesday nights we do like a Wayne Thrill style show at 9 p.m. on Thursdays. At 6 p.m. we have a conspiracy show. On Fridays at uh, 4.20 p.m. we have a live drawing show. Saturdays at 9 p.m. we have a fitness show. And on Sundays at 4.20 p.m. we have a cooking show. And on Mondays at 7 p.m. we have a karaoke show. That's right. So, yeah, we got 16 watching, 10 likes. Uh, put the other video I sent you in that's in that list. This is another really uh, well-known one. Some guy, uh, a, uh... Fallen Angel. Yes, I love these. Uh, I think Morgoth <laughs> as well in the Yeah, chest. he did. That's true. That I one's good. It looks like it's some dar- uh, Dark Side of the Moon footage, maybe, or something. I don't know what it is. Nice. It looks like... It's Fallen def- Angel. Huh? Yeah, what is that you sent? Who about says, how much do you charge for your records? Depends which one. Yeah, they're usually 10, 50 bucks. Yeah. Hell yeah, Poobot. Thinking about uh, making one of those LP, donation man. nations. Are we locked in here? Possible fallen angel uh, in where? Catalonia, Spain. Who's oh, it looks like Chris Van Teddy sent five bucks. That seems like a shotgun a beer type of price. Uh oh. Let's see. I got my phone real quick. Buy us a shot type of price. Just one? Just one. Catalonia. Mira, mira. Toma, tío, ya veo si se han dicho antes. Me cago en el par rato que se han dicho antes. Que sí, cuidado, que sí. Tía, no te lo va a caer. Escolta. ¿Me siento o no? What do you think? Huh. Like that. Huh. Frank Zappa exposing Illuminati. We should play that on the. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, he says, I'm talking about like the Beatles albums you guys have in the shop. It all depends. Yeah, what records you want. Yeah, we charge, you know, regular prices for those. Yeah. Enzo says, oh, hell yeah. Hell DDL- yeah. Oh, hell yeah. What up, Enzo? DDLV right. says, ha ha ha. I like that. Oh, yeah. Um, we need to make uh, uh, two more two more sales, and uh, we can start a paranormal investigation of our own property. There you go. 
I like that video. Yeah, it's a good one. Classic. Like I don't know. I like being all about that. But I like it. Church. Fallen Angel, maybe not. Demon of some sort. Um, rake? Yeah. It could be a rake. It could be a rake. Looks like a rake to me. It could have been a rake. It fits all the along. rake. Um, rake the me. Says, nah, man. Angels would look like Nicolas Cage. There you go. I like that. Morgoth says Mar NASA Mars mission from 73. That's what that's from? Play that video, dude. That's okay. Because hmm. I was like, what the fuck is this? Huh? It doesn't look like the moon. It looks real. Yeah. Okay. That was great. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, that's right. That's a sale. Oh, yeah, another sale! Another, there we another go. Another five bucks, so it looks like probably another shot. Two shots. Yeah, we can probably do some shots. Yeah. He knows what's up. Yes, around here. NASA! NASA! Uh, yeah, dude, this is crazy. Now I, now I understand what I was seeing. Yeah, this I think this is real. Um, this, Footage from Mars? From like 73. A, like a space shuttle? From like a fucking... From like a... Yeah, space shuttle oh. outside of Mars. Okay. Who okay. would have fucking been brave enough to but do nah, that nah, nah. but nah, nah well nah, nah. you know one of the one of Corey's conspiracies i guess is that they um already have they've had a base on the moon and the mars since before the even first moon landing Corey doesn't Corey doesn't like any of that so all right they, here we go they haven't made he it. says yeah they made it in the 70s all right here we go project red sun 1973 isv columbus for internal use only not for public distribution okay that looks that looks real yeah No audio. Looks flat. To it's me. all it's like it's all chopped up, but it was a it's a forty minute video altogether. Or, yeah. They were astronauts, not cinematographers. Yeah, oh, and good. and you know that adds to the credence of the vid. What? Just the the non cinem cinematic nature. The shaky, and it's like that's the moon and Earth, far as fuck away. It, and dude, when they get to Mars, it looks real to me. I mean, what you guys are seeing right now is day one hundred. Fuck. Day one fifty-eight. How long does it take? That's Mars. Think out of the way. There you go. Crazy. Huh. I like this. Dude, what? Free Bake Chase says, What's up, homie? What's up, we just talk about a long tour. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got one day off on Mars. <laughs> the clouds. Wow. Snow or something. <clears throat> nah, bro, that's just some dude's head. I like this. I'm into this. They I'm show it, it looks like some kind of like weird lake. Got 19 too, watching. At the end. Warm. Giant leap for mankind. Hmm. Open like your mind, 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 mind. It's caramel ice cream. Hmm. Hmm. It's more like coffee vanilla. Hmm. Okay. It's almost over. That is some Mars footage. Do they go down? No. It's almost over. They show this like maybe they couldn't land. Weird fucking lake. That's like that fucking water right there. It looks pretty good. I like I like how this looks. It looks real. Whoever did this did a good job. If it's fake. Which I don't know what to think because it's pretty a lot to think about this thing. Like what the fuck? Uh, yeah, what is that? That is nuts. It's yeah, more like it's ice lake in the middle. middle. Yeah, that's what they think of me. Huh? Yeah. Y'all ready for that? Ba -na 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 -na. Uh, I like that one. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Oh, wow. 
Chris Vader says, hey, Bree, DLB says, ha ha. Bree says, hey, Chris, DLB says, DIY venue on Mars, BYOB. <laughs> yeah. Bree makes a smash that like button. That's right, Bree Bake. Dude, where's the closest she knows. store um, on Earth? Yeah. And it says, would you guys leave this planet if you could? Uh, yeah, under the right circumstances. Morgoth says, so what did you guys think, eh? I like it. Yeah, I like it. I think I it's like good. It. I'm, I'm even thinking about that one for a minute. I, I, don't, I feel like I'm, I'm on the other side of Corey on the, the going to the moon thing. I think we they got there before they said. That's yeah. what I think. That's what I personally think. Yeah. Because there's also NASA um, like audio of this fool seeing the base and, and, and Houston telling him to turn around. Yeah. Don't go over that ridge. Don't go over that ridge. Why would that even be a thing if it was all fake? Why would they even need to make that video? Well, you guys, you've seen the photos What's of the, the base. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Base on dark side of moon. Yeah, pull all that right, picture so up. that up. So, I, I, I'm on that side of the uh, the argument. I think we have made it there. And, Rocky uh, says, that looks like traditional rollerball ink, not a Fisher space pen. Interesting. Did you get the shot glasses? Huh. Oh. That's a good point. Because mm. I guess in the uh, they used to use pencils mostly yeah. because the uh, the regular ballpoint pens don't work in zero G. So mm. look at that. But at the yeah. same time, they were making rockets that could go to Mars. So there you go. I don't know. You goddamn alien Yeah, I guess I don't scum. know what a Fisher space pen looks like. What the hell are they trying to cover up? It's confusing because they, because there is the audio of this of of the, it's like Apollo 15 or something or maybe 11, 12, no 15 or something. He freaks out about it. Um. But yeah, and then there's also there's also theories that um, we made it to Mars already as well. But if that's the case, um, then that video we just saw would have been fake because they said they had. Based on Mars by 1970 as well. Hmm. well. Who knows? I don't know. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Thank you, Chris. Alien moon bases. <sighs> that was big. Fantastic. <laughs> a good observation, Huapi. All right, we got 14 likes, 18 watching. Nice. We're cooking. We got two sales. We're pretty low right now. We only need to make one more sale. And uh, we can get Jimmy to go live into the... Uh, Jimmy, you want to explain them what you're going to do? Yes, I'm going to go Four live minutes. into the store to find uh, some spirits, a uh, alien spirits, who knows what they'll be. Uh, they're going to be uh, investigated here live on the program. So you guys are going to see it here live. Jimmy, you remember you said it's like ghost time. hunters and stuff, right? Yes, of course. And so you, know how, you know how to do it, right? How to find ghosts? Yeah, I, gonna I, have sit my, there. Uh, I have my meter reader too. So and put your voice nice. memos... Somebody's got to be in there too with their voice memos on their phone. Chibo, you got to assist Jimmy. So that yeah. we can get uh, so we can get audio. Some, uh, goes electronic voice memos. Voice, yes. memo, voice memos on your phone open, because we get the EVPs. You guys know what an EVP is, right? It's electronic voice phenomenon. It is when uh, sounds are picked up on electronic devices that are not audible by human ears, and later investigators of the paranormal uh, type will go and they'll look over their footage. And they will discover that there was sounds there that they were not able to hear when they were there on location investigating uh, in the field. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, as always, you guys, our show is brought to you by McDonald's. Uh, I'm loving it. <laughs> um, DDLV, no, it's not. Uh, DDLV says uh, we're actually trying to get sponsors right now from uh, marijuana places. So we want to only be sponsored by marijuana money. Uh, DDLV says, oh, well, that one ghost hunter that always screams bro at yeah, the ghost um, yeah bro. real bro. ghost adventures that show's so fucking dumb <laughs> real says, ghost don't adventures. cross streams jimmy yes jimmy don't oh. cross the screen gummy ghost jimmy <laughs> buster i'm prepared to know i've been there for a long time i'm very excited uh morgan says haha weed map hit up weed maps and we already thought we, we we were uh, talking to some uh place we live in los angeles baby this is the uh spot to do it they got weed everywhere. DDLV says, I know. I used to do Ooh. server administration for um, weed maps. Weed maps. Hell yeah, guys. Does anyone uh, have any videos or would like to call in and tell a spooky uh, story? Yeah. we have. A, we're, we're, uh, our lines are open right now. And uh, we are taking any ghost stories that you have. You want to, uh, any paranormal stuff. We don't just talk ghosts. Uh, we like talk, I like a lot of creature stories. You know, one time when I was camping as a kid, I always think about this now because I'm really... I actually recently just purchased 
sorry, I'm talking, going a lot of things at once, guys. I know I talk a lot, and I'm kind of hard to follow sometimes. But I'll start right here that me and Isaac recently just purchased my first Blu-ray yeah. that I've ever bought, which was the Missing 411 documentary. Um, and if you guys aren't aware of the Missing 411 series, I really highly suggest looking into that, listening to interviews with David Politis. Uh, David Politis is a former police officer detective, don't, right? dete and detective who wrote a bunch of books about like uh, Native American tribes that he lived, he like worked with, and like Bigfoot. But then he started writing these books called Missing 411 that don't even talk about Bigfoot at all. It's not. He's actually very adamant now about not trying to give any theories to like the things he writes about because what he writes about is basically he just keeps track and account of all these people that have gone missing in the forests of, a na of the national parks of the United States um, and, and, the, and all these similar strange ways uh, while also at the same time exposing that the national park system national park service has its own internal system for handling missing cases, uh, missing persons cases and they often do not follow them up and there's lots of creepy stuff involving like transdimensional stuff and people like literally disappearing and their clothes like look like they just dropped off of them but I, I've been just tripping about it and thinking about all that stuff, and uh, I I think that uh, maybe that like um, out there in the woods, there's like because of maybe like Sasquatches or whatever. Because I personally believe Sasquatch is a transdimensional being, not one, but like a race of transdimensional beings, and that when they, the way that they they travel is in and out of like the the fourth veil or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they somehow they leave behind like doorways, and sometimes people get lost in the woods by actually walking through streams. Mm -hmm. And okay. then, like, they go missing into it, and their clothes fall, because they're Here's close to this reality. Yeah. But we are all, we are all part of, like, some other reality yeah. that, like, yeah. so we, can, we could cross through. There's Dan Blytis right there. And people do go missing, and, uh, Shea Bosses, I was out of weed once. It was fucking scary. <laughs> uh, uh, uh TDLV's, I got a spooky story about sleep paralysis. Hell yeah, tell me that. Uh, Morgan says 411 is cray. Yeah, this shit is amazing and crazy. But uh, I, it's been making me think a lot about how I spent a lot of my childhood uh, camping in the uh, Mount Hood National Forest of Oregon, which is definitely one of the places that he talks about. Though his most his main place in Oregon is Crater Lake. There's a lot of people that have gone missing and never ever been found around Crater Lake. Um, but one time when I was a kid, I was by the uh, trailer. Uh, my grandparents had left me there alone to watch the campsite. They were just going down, you know, half an hour down the road to like help find the like the cousins and uncles and aunts that were coming up to join us later in the camping trip because we'd camped for like two weeks and we're in places where you'd never see anybody maybe like three people asking for baggy hot springs but uh i was sitting, sitting like by myself walking around pretending to be like a male tomb raider i wanted to be like a boy laura croft really bad and uh i was out there like with my boots and, like my walking stick and i felt something behind me and i looked in the tree and for years i thought that it was like some kind of weird big giant monkey owl white white as snow totally white with like a weird black eyes monkey like owl face monkey I was like had like monkey arms and I was like it didn't fr scare me as a kid because I was in my like Laura Croft mode and I was like Tomb Raider the Laura Croft the, uh, the boy and wanted to like be tough and I was like in the nature and I was like oh it's some kind of crazy animal and then I ran to the other side of the tree and I couldn't find it and it's always been to me like this weird thing that I saw in the woods and, I'll, I, and only now with David Politis I uh, think that maybe I saw something sketch, and that uh, I was by myself, a little boy, maybe like really, really young. I was like eleven. That's that's what they. Like. And I think maybe so what the you saw, Ricky. Didn't get got is because I was bigger than the thing. Who's that? No, but like that, yeah, but all white. Hell yeah. Like that, exactly like that, but all white. And I think the only reason it didn't get me is that I was probably big, and, like as big as it was. Yeah. Mm. And maybe a little mm. bit bigger. Mm. And for some reason, not scared. And I wasn't scared. Yeah, there you all. go. So, because I was really about animals and nature, and I wanted to be cool like Laura Croft. Uh, Hell yeah. Pooh says, wow, I'm high as fuck. Rocky said, shit, we need a NAR book club if those still exist. Yeah, I'm reading Mothman Prophecies right now, and then I'm going to be reading The Disaster Artist uh, about uh, the guy who played Mark in The Room, my favorite movie of all time. Um, the Room is definitely like, my aesthetically favorite movie of all time, and and also just because I can watch it, and I love the music, and I love how stupid and awesome it is. Fogel can tell you when I watch the room, I talk about the room the whole time I'm watching it too. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've ever watched it without without trying to analyze it the whole fucking time because it's so amazing. And that movie ridiculous. is definitely like my favorite movie, but yeah. uh, my favorite movies that you probably have seen before are like 
Pulp Fiction, Big Lebowski, Boogie Nights. I like those kind of like LA centric. Uh, mm-hmm. Even before I moved to LA, like like uh, just really good like gritty '90s kind of like. It's, par- it's, kind of funny it's kind of a paranormal crime movie, movie and it's like crime movies too. But book club, I'm all that, and I'm also I'm about to finish the Dirt Motley Crew, which was really really good. Um, 16 likes, 19 watching. You're watching the Nar Tapes Network. We only need to make one more sale, and then we're gonna start our live ghost hunting investigation in our record store Narburger that is right there. Jimmy's gonna be doing live uh, Google Hangout face FaceTime style chat with us while we are going back and forth. I'm gonna go in there too. I see, show you guys that it's all going down. We're going to be having a real live ghost hunting investigation from Narberger right now. We just need to make one more sale. Yes, let's find them ghosts. Any any sale will do. Uh, Chris Van Teddy said the Disaster Artist is so good. I read it in one sitting. You're going to love it. That's what I've heard. That's why I bought it. I don't often buy a lot of books. Actually, books are one of the only media I, I buy. I buy video games, books, and occasionally records. Um, weird records, usually from the thrift store. <laughs> And world records, but uh, books are definitely my, my main buying thing that I do, and I read them uh, pretty slowly while I'm uh, in LA. But while I'm on tour, I'm reading constantly, so I like to stock up kind of like books for mm-hmm. tour, uh, especially when uh, when I'm in Europe because I like to sit up front with Nick and smoke joints with him and read and listen to music. Uh, you see my viral tweet. Really? Nick is my, my my one of my best friends in the world, and he happens to be British. When, if you would have told me as a little kid that be next to the junkyard near Gresham, Oregon, that I would have a best friend who is yeah. British and, and my crew of best friends, I would have been okay, very excited. Gone. And uh, it's true. That's right. Okay. Boone says you just chicken cheep 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 cheep. Yeah. Cheep, yeah. Cheep. Uh, cheep. Don't cheep. touch me, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Uh, Forget that guy. Wh- what are you doing, Lisa? You're my future wife. <laughs> Who says there's a big apartment building on fire in London right now? Oh, wow. That's not good. That's not in good. London. Sounds fucked up. Uh, Ricky says, you sure it ain't just Burglar Brett in there? Nah. No, nah, Burglar Brett's not here right now. I mean, nah, 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 nah. But nah, nah. But nah, nah, nah. I saw that that uh, that Instagram story off of Jimmy Snay. Oh, yeah, I don't know yeah. what that was. Yeah, yeah, he told me that. That's really fucking funny. I have the yeah. whole Tim Heidecker stand up too. And the know, whole thing. The whole thing, yeah. Dude, like, sick. Send that to me. I tried, but it's too big. Well, I, I, I'll upload it on YouTube. I'll put it on my. I'll, yeah, I'll put it on YouTube. Email. Yeah. Take it on your Twenty-one yeah. watching, seventeen likes, guys. Smash that like button. We're only one sale away from Jimmy and I and the guys starting our live paranormal ghost hunting investigation here at our own property in Los That's Angeles. Right. right, right in our record store, which is no more than what thirty feet away. Tail Boone says, "I just like watching you guys, <laughs> creepy <laughs> ass Danny." Davey's 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 said, Davey oh, yeah. said he found some ghosts at his brother's last week, and he's gonna stop by after. Who? What? Davey said he saw some uh, ghosts at his brother's last weekend. He says, I think I found some at my brother's last weekend when I was saying going to find ghosts. And he's going to come here after he's in like 20, 30 minutes. Cool. Don't tell him to get me some cigs. DDLV says, wow, that building in London is fucking lit. Literally, it looks like 9-11. What? Shan says, think about all the die, the die through human history. The number is like 14 billion. If ghosts were real... You would literally be encountering one every time you turn around or even jack off privately. Well, yeah, well, well change, change, how, how do you change. know you're, you're not? Th- you're thinking of a very specific theory of a ghost, that a ghost is supposed to be the remnants of a dead person, which is very, very, very far from what I and I, what I'd like to believe most serious ghost investigators believe is that it's more about like simultaneity and time overlapping over itself and the fact that maybe ghosts react in time that is... Uh, like maybe only like ten minutes for them, but it lasts like maybe twenty years for us. And there's also the theories about like uh, that maybe ghosts aren't even uh, ghosts of dead people; they're actually like spirits a part of nature. You gotta open your mind, Shane. You gotta think about things more than one way. Vampires could be real too, man. May- and maybe you know you probably are. Maybe you are encountering a ghost every time you jack off privately. Yeah, you, 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 maybe you know, you're not paying attention. You know, maybe you're not tuned into it. Yeah, yeah. maybe you're. You know, maybe getting... just because you've never seen a ghost oh. is means it's your problem. You just made me think of one of the, the best ghost stories I know. My cousin Georgie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is a creepy fucking story. Yeah. So, my cousin Georgie's a little boy. Uh, he's getting older now. He's probably like in his like, pre-teens now. Middle school. Late middle school. Oh, uh, wow. Um, but when he was a little, little, little boy, he had a lot of imaginary friends. Oh, no. And uh, they were very elaborate. Oh, and very, oh, no. very, uh, and in terms of imaginary friends, 
they were very specific and very detailed, hyper detailed. Like this, only this magic friend in this certain room doing this certain activity. This magic friend doing this. This one, you know, this that kind of thing. And there was one magic friend that didn't have a name. He said he has no name. He has no name. Uh, little kid telling my aunt he has no name. And it was only ever at his apartment in Tigard, Oregon, or at my grandma's house in Scamania. And for years they were like, that's you know, like we, you know, we think he has a, like you know, he's like has an imagination mind. And then one day they're like, what's up with his name? Like his name is Sane. He's a baby. He's like his name is Sane. Same, like, like Georgie. Same. They, they, the ghost is. The ghost said his name was Same, and then he comes to see Grandma. And my cousin Georgie is named after my grandma's, like my, my uncle Dan. His dad is different dad than the rest of us because his dad fell died died falling down some stairs when they were like young. That might be some weird homicide thing. Yeah, it might have been murder too. But like that was my grandma's like love of her life. Like she always talks about like that. And he was either murdered or fell down some stairs. Yeah. And. uh he said he came to see Georgie and Grandma at Grandma's house. And his name is Sam, like him, George. Yeah. Who he was named after. My Uncle Dan's dad. Woo! And not just that, not just that, when they went to go to Florida for a funeral one time, they were walking around the cemetery, and Georgie was talking, There because like, it was in the family plots, in the That's family right. plots. That's right. And there was like, oh, these people died in a fire. They all died in a fire. And uh, they, at this point, my aunt and uncle started kind of getting, like, uh, picking up some sixth sense at kind of stood like or maybe our son sees ghosts and they were not down at all like freaked yeah, out why would Christian, they be so like they're not really feeling that really that hard my aunt's really anxious and freaked out psychically anyway Satan uh, uh, not that bad but like yeah, pretty close hears voices and, and hears voices and it's already for her yeah. so she's probably already tuned in to that shit anyway and does not have interpreted it at all and uh Georgie saying these people you all know, in the fire my uncle went and asked the uh caretaker and uh that family did all die in a house fire and my wow. cousin Georgie had told that to my uncle. Damn. Real. Real. Alright, so Poobet said there's a live bit of it on YouTube right now. Um, I think he's talking about the uh, live apartment building in London on fire. Although his grandma says, have you heard the Tim Heidecker story about getting stabbed? Yeah, oh yeah, I love it. That's a great crazy story. Who knows if it's true? Enzo says, hey Ricky, you ever see something creepy at the junkyard you live next to? Huh? Did you ever see anything creepy at the junkyard you used to live next to? Yeah, uh, yeah, actually, there was. It wasn't anything paranormal. There was a guy who lived on the on the not. So the junkyard was on one side, and then the other side was like private homes and like uh, rehabilit like like halfway homes for like rehab and like uh, like like mental like sex predators and stuff like that. And uh, there was one guy who lived back there. He was like a clown for hire, and he drove around one of those like scary clown cars that had like all the satanic shit all over it. <laughs> and uh, in our neighborhood, and uh, he would always try to get us to come over the fence, and he'd give us like little sculptures of like demons and stuff. I'm not kidding, a clown. I'd seen him in a clown outfit sometimes in the backyard. Oh, and uh, one time I saw him out there, and he had his dog hanging from a leash. He was beating his dog, like hanging. And that was like definitely that's some shit you see when you live in a poor area. Oh, we're gonna call. <laughs> we're gonna dark sided stuff. Dark-sided psychics, gargoyles. <laughs> they are Christian. Right. They're not Christian. No. Here we go. Caller, you are live on the Nartafe Network with Paranormal Art. Hello, who's calling and where are you calling? Uh, hello? hello. Hello. Hi, I'm here to ask a question uh, to you all streaming here. Very good. Um, if you were a ghost, where would you haunt for the rest of eternity? El Pollo Loco. I was going to say a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't even have any chicken. That'd be torturous. Yeah, oh, yeah I would be whack. Huh? I would hang out a fucking, like, like uh, Damn. a concert hall. Yeah, a concert hall would be pretty good. Or, like, a movie theater. Or, like, uh, a, a, a strip club. Yeah, strip club. The uh, the chick's uh, locker room at high school. I mean, that would be, that would be just like Pollo Loco, though. I you mean, couldn't do anything about it. You'd have weird ghost boners all the time. Yeah. Ghost boner. Yeah, you might be able to jack off, right? To your ectoplasm. Yeah. yeah shoot. <laughs> Definitely be shooting ectoplasm. Um, I'd probably hang out at an arcade. Arcade, Jimmy says. But an arcade probably wouldn't be there. Probably like a movie theater. Yeah. That's what I said. What was Is that what you said? Yeah, I said one of mine was a movie good. theater. I like that. You can watch all movies. Yeah. Yeah. It's chill. Totally chill. I would choose. I think it might sit there and wait for like a hot girl sit on your lap. Yeah, I would choose the two dollar movie theater. That way, like, it wasn't that crowded. You probably can't sit down, though. Or maybe you can. Maybe Who knows? Sure. You have to sit down, yeah. like, like, if it's not, you can't fold the seat down. Yeah. I can sit down on it. Hell yeah. Um, do you That's have another question, yet. caller? Or? Uh, no, that's everything. Thank yeah. you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, thank, thank you. you. Calling, appreciate uh, it. Thanks for calling. Uh, yeah, thank thanks you, for watching. Uh, 
Dwangle says, there's my boys. Hey, hey y'all. Yeah, what up, Dwangle? Bob Dylan's grandma says, what's up, Enzo? Enzo says, what's up, Bobby? Shane says, I bet that building doesn't fall into the ground from that fire like other famous ones. Oh, he's talking, must be talking about the, uh... 9 11. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jesse says, what a twist. DDL says, dark sided. BB says, that's terrifying, Ricky. DDL says, ha, El Pollo Loco's fire. Ghost Boner. That's a good band name. Ghost Boner. Boner is a pretty good band name. Uh, there's a lot of ghost band names. Uh, yeah. Haunt a car. Paranormal erection. Like Christine. <laughs> like a car. If you haunted a car, you could go everywhere. That's cool. But not if you, you couldn't drive it. You'd be like, no, but you'd be like, there'd be Get Out, where like you're trapped inside your body until you're controlling it. Yeah. Or, um. Are you saying Get Out yet? Get Out, yeah. It's so good. It's really good. We're really fucking good. Yeah, great. One of them, I laughed out loud the part where they showed, like, after, like, he's already, like, trying to get away and, like, his, like, girlfriend is, like, sitting, like, looking on the internet, and she's eating, like, fried yeah. dry cereal. Well, she's, like, <laughs> it's, like, symbolism, because she's not eating the, 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 putting the milk with the cereal. Yeah. So, like, you know, that's, like, a, you know, not mixing white with anything. Weird. There's, like, weird symbolism there. Yeah. But, dude, I thought... Well, also, that, to me, the way I interpret it is that, like, all those memes about how, like, white people eat dry cereal, or whatever. Yeah, right, yeah. You know what I mean? Dry cereal. Um, dry cereal's okay, but to me, it's kind of, like, a waste of time. Yeah. There's so much damn sugar, and it's so dry. It's like you're like you're gonna need to just drink some milk afterwards. <laughs> yeah, some uh, like if you have like if you have oats, like Cheerios or something, and like you don't have any other way to eat that but with like some water, you know, that's like something. Oh, I see I cereal and water memes. That's just gnarly. I see a lot I've of memes, done, I've guys. Done it for sure. Uh, Enzo says, "You guys ever played at a haunted venue? Yeah. Yes. Uh, fuck yeah! And we've seen the same shit in our hotel room twice. Yeah. Haunted okay. hotel and venue in Tucson, Arizona, called Club Congress." Part of uh, well. part of uh, Stephen King's inspiration for haunted hotels, um, and both times we've stayed there, we stayed in the same room, and both times we stayed there, a glass has by itself yeah. floated across the table in front of all of us. Like a late nineteenth century uh, cowboy cowboy hotel. Yeah, Gold in Town, Copper Tucson. Town, Tucson probably used to be I, gnarly uh, as fuck. I hit my head on the speaker when I jumped off the stage there too that one time. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was gnarly. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Shauna says, is Corey's show going to happen again? It sure is, on Thursday at 6 p.m. Um, Jordan says, get out was the shit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. He says, that Tail Boone says, there's 24,000 people watching a live stream of the burning building right now. Shit, wow. let's set our building on fire. Maybe uh -huh. we can get half of that. We're trying to start a, a point of paranormal live investigation right now from our own uh, record store here in Los Angeles. We just need to make one more sale. One sale, um, sale, guys. we made a deal with y'all. If we get three sales, we'll start the paranormal investigation. We got two so far. Um, if we get one more um, of any Help! value, any donation or any sale, we'll, uh, we'll send oh, we got another call. into the, uh, we the store. Hello, caller. How caller. are you doing? What up? It's DDOV. Hey, hey buddy. What's up? You got your, your scary story? Yeah, yeah. So, you guys know, like, about sleep paralysis. Yeah. Like that, and maybe a succubus. Okay, word up. So, oh, yeah. it's been happening to me lately. Not lately, but it used to happen to me a couple years ago. Uh, first, it was just like, you know, you, you, you wake up in the middle of the night, you can't move, you see a giant shadow at the edge of your bed, and you're like, what the fuck? And then, you kind of just get your brain out of it, you wake up, so then... It evolved into this one. Like, I was in my bed, and then I wake up. I look to my right, and there's, like, a naked girl Whoa. next to me. I'm like, sweet. Score! Let me just cuddle up. I cuddle up, and as soon as I do that, she turns around and grabs my dick super tight, and then, like, this demon fucking dead thing was like, I'm gonna fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, ah, let go of this. And I was like, I mean, I'm not even religious, but I was like, in the name of Christ, I can tell you. And then she was like, really? You? And then left, and then I woke up. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Oh, she grew up a dick. Yeah, so yeah. I kind of I, I kind of hooked up with a sucky, but so it was a pretty cool day. Woo! That's right. Hell yeah. Okay. You uh, piece of shit. Creepy. All right. Thank you. That was, that's about it, guys. That was Good great. Yeah, that yeah. was a great call, a great story. Highly Thank recommend you. getting hey. yourself tested now after that experience. Yeah. It should be okay. Get your blood work done. From that's what doc, the doctor Jerry says. Yeah. So that's a whole, brings a whole new definition Jerry. to ghost bone. Yeah, you don't want any succubus. <laughs> um, 
Uh, Bob Dylan's grandma says, I slept on a used crack pipe in Tucson, Arizona. You might need to get some blood work done as well. Me and Isaac are trying to get a crack pipe, a Lakers one. A Lakers one. Uh, Shonen Wayne says, I've stayed there after a ween show. Gold. You know what that means. Me and Isaac are in the market for a crack pipe, guys. Charmaine says, I've stayed there after a ween show, chill spot, and it was on during the night as Day of the Dead. Cool. You saw a ween in Tucson? That's sick, bro. Right. A lot of mushrooms in the desert that night. Oh. El Dia de la Muerte. Uh, oh, speaking of the witch, guys, I today submitted my pin for the Paranormal Narcasm. Mothman pin. There we go. Gonna be coming uh, a couple weeks. Uh, and these Kitty Jesus and Dark Tapes Networks ones should be here, any, uh, like what? Any day? This week, next week, probably next week. Oh yeah, we got 20 watching, 22 likes, we just need one more sale, and we can start the live ghost hunting paranormal investigation right here. Who's gonna throw down? Who's gonna throw down? I want to send Jimmy into the scary dark store. Uh -oh. You can't turn the lights on. No. Um... And you can only use the flashlight for your face. Oh, okay. Somebody buy us a joint. Yeah, or we definitely need to make some money. Buy us a joint or a couple more shots. We got a lot of people watching right now. Um, what do you want me to do? Let me give you a deal. What if you, what if you, uh, you buy a, 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 a t-shirt and I give you a, a, a free cassette? Or how about a... No, no, no. I'm not going to do that one. How about this? How about uh, I'll do a... Uh, Buy the Nartapes Network t-shirt, the new GTD t-shirt for only $10, and then you can get the upcoming Nartapes Network pin, uh, enamel pin for free. There you go. How's that? And uh, all sales, how about all sales on the show tonight, will come with a free instant download of the Memories upcoming 29-track album due June 30th. You can get it first with any donation. Let's just see those numbers get up, guys. I'm seeing a lot of nice watching... It's like a, like a steady around 20 people right now, which is really good. But uh, we're only at $20 in sales. So if even if all you guys just donated one more dollar, it would double our money. Um, just go to the website. It's right there uh, at the bottom of the screen here. It says shop at Nart. It says nartapes.com slash GTG. It's a little hard to see because it's all bloody down there. But go there. Nartapes.com slash GTG. See, nartapes.com slash GTG. Simple. Simple. And then help us out, guys. And as soon as we get that sale, we can start the show for real because the bulk and the meat, the heart of this show, is going to be our ghost hunting uh, uh, exploration. So we want to make sure that, uh, you know, because it's going to be really fun. You know, we're going to be sitting in the dark. Uh, we're going to have, like, we're going to be in a small screen, like Funkles here. And Jimmy's going to be over uh, in a full screen of the dark there. I'm going to pop in there, too, and see if uh, we can't all see anything and see any ghost, ghostly uh, apparitions or if we can't hear any voices calling at us from the other side. So just need one more sale, guys. Come on. We're kind of at an impasse here in terms of content until we get at least one more sale. Sale! 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 Come on, guys. It's real easy. Any any sale, we'll, uh, we'll get this thing going. I want to smoke some weed. You want some dabs, right? Yeah, someone, uh, someone donate for us to get dabbed out. I'm trying to do a dab. Um, Let me see that uh, oh, DLB said I shared with some friends. Hell yeah! Tell nice. them to that's nice. Buy, I, I like that. Tell them to buy that's, the that's merchandise. Nice. That's nice to on um, DD. Tell them to buy some merchandise. So uh, come on, guys. Let's uh, go to nightapes.com slash GTT and let's get um, a sale in there, a donation in there. Um, I'm itching to send Jimmy into the shop. Have you ever done any sort of paranormal investigation like this before, Jim? Absolutely not. This is my first time. This is his first time. Never done anything like this. Um, I'm Let's excited. See what Do you know what to look for? Um, I'm gonna be looking for ghosts, sounds, um, any sort of uh, shapes. And you can speak Spanish, Jimmy, too. So you try might try that. Yeah, you gotta try the English. This neighborhood is uh, is uh, is traditionally Spanish-speaking, so. Yeah. So yeah. And, and you have to ask the questions, get it, coax it out of its, uh... Yeah. Wherever it's hiding at. We want to get you to get it to come out. Should we look up, like, spell, like spells or, like, a yeah. chance you can chant? Yeah, like some spells that... that uh, summon, bring <laughs> out these ghosts. You can do that in a store. Don't do that in here. <laughs> Don't do that ever. So, uh, yeah, guys, we can just get a one more sale. In at uh, nartapes.com slash gtg, throw in a donation or a, uh, 
I'll buy some more. Alright, there he says, can you send me a PayPal request for $5? Maybe you get the new memories every threes? Alright, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna send you a request for 10 If I'm requesting. <laughs> yeah, you can just donate 5 and then we'll send them to you. Every chill today is getting MP3s. So. Trail. So if you just want to go to nartapes.com slash GTG and, and put in a don PayPal donation, um, I'll write you down and we'll get you those MP3s there. Dwingle dingle. Uh, yeah. Dwingle dingle dong. What is we made a sale. Five bucks. Get some ghosts. Five bucks. Five bucks from who? From uh, Brandon. Oh, oh, oh. From there Brandon. we go. Brandon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send that <laughs> request right now. Just goes to show ya. Yeah, to you, Dwangle. That might be Brandon, though. Was that you, Dwangle? Was that you who did that? Oh, Dwangle. Well, you came and you donated one sweet five bucks. Yeah, I was. Uh, one Sweet Neil no. is the one you sent the, the, the last time, remember? Oh, yeah. That's the same one. Brandon Murphy. I mean, just Brandon. Brandon. Alright, so there we go. That's five bucks right there. There we go. So we're at fifteen of our two hundred dollar go. There we go. Um but we did unlock um the uh, paranormal investigation. So how, how do I do this? Just the uh, FaceTime? Um no use uh, Google Hangouts. Uh DDLV says yeah. uh the new memories of Royal United Song Service is fire. Oh right. yeah. You like it? You like that? Um, I'm glad you're into it. It's pretty uh it's pretty decent, eh? Twenty nine songs. Did you listen to every single one? Um, DDLV? Which is your favorite? Which one did you like the most? And DDLV was it dinner club? DDLV uh uh Paid fifteen for that. Which is nice. All right. I'm giving one sweet Neo a choice here. I'm sending them a five dollar request and a ten dollar request. There you go. It's up to you. Um, Brie Bag says, "Hey, phone. Can I sing karaoke next Monday?" Yeah. DW says, "Yeah, and backwards." All right. Which tracks are you stoked on? All right, Jimmy. So you're you ready? Uh, no, not yet. He's getting ready. He's making a, a Google Hangouts account, right? No, yeah. he's uh, getting his ghost hunting gear on. Oh, right. His, uh, his proton pack, just in case. And um, smoke bombs. Jordan Mingo says, how many minutes is a new album? It is o over an hour. Long. I like the country song. It's 29 songs, so it's it's two albums. It's like two half an hour albums. Pretty good. It's like, there's like seven songs each side. So, of course you want a Gmail. And there's four sides. The country song. Maybe the country song is... Uh, there's a few of them on there. Either... Uh, wah, 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 turn around. Or turn Jessica around. Jeans. Or Jessica Jeans. Or maybe even like uh, My Two Sons is kind of country -y. I got two sons by the name... Oh, Jessica <laughs> Jeans is what he said. Ah, yeah. there you go. I got two sons by the name of Cal and Dash. Hit that like button, right, Zach? Oh, yeah, duh. Have you, you already subscribed? Dang, yeah, folks. There we go. All right, I'm ready. All right, Jimmy's gonna about to go in and start our paranormal investigation live. Where should we put uh, his camera? Just in the background, and then make you guys smaller. Yeah, exactly. And Jimmy, yeah, here's handheld camera. Okay. It's gonna be like MTV's Fear. And Dan, you're in there with him with the voice memos going, recording the uh, EVPs. EVPs. <laughs> this is. <cool. coughs> I told uh, Duffy to call into the show because he has he he was working for Portland Taps and he, they were having him I think um, listen through yeah. hours and hours of EVP of of, of recorded um, is that the gas meter yeah bring that in there just in case you never know you should that's a oh, sale twelve sixty three you should download one of those ghosts that was like a T-shirt maybe huh. Yeah, it seems like it. We're there's only a couple of them we're saving for the. Uh, I'll give you a shot. Memories, yeah, think about it. drinking. Oh, somebody's gotta buy Danny's shot though. And the note says, "Touch my tutor." Nice. Cool. Think about drinking shirt. There you go. 
So we're at 27.63. Oh, we're cooking. Oh, we're making another sit. Or, or that might I texted Duppy yeah, too, telling him we're live right now. But if you guys want to get deep Chibo and my little brother, he would like a, a shot of alcohol. And so would I, and so would Isaac. You only need to send $15. I know that's, that's, but that's cheaper than you get in L.A., man. At the bar. At the bar. All right. Christopher. Shit, Just I mean, I'll take the $3 shots right now. Good idea. Tell me, does Bree sing on Monday? Bree makes us maybe Boone. Oh, there you are. So we're moving to you. Cool. I'd like to hear that. I make it funky. I work it for my DJ. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. You guys gotta get that legalize this T-shirt. I do. Oh yes. We're getting ready to make a live, extremely horrifying. Is your microphone on, Jimmy? Uh, no, you might have to turn your microphone on or give it access to your microphone. Shawner Mang said that was me. Thank you, Shawner Mang. Good looks, homie. Getting in there. Getting in there and letting us, uh, letting us get this game going. I'm not you know? hearing anything from your microphone now. Check, check, check. Check. Uh, it, uh, it says you're muted, yeah. All right. Maybe you said don't, don't allow when you started it. Yeah. Sean, I'll proudly rock it. Thank you, Sean, or mate. That's right. Uh, DDLV says, sup, at Brie Baked. You know what? I'm going to do uh, another little dab in front of Isaac. Yeah, you do like to do that. <laughs> All right, so um, we, we Ricky did one. I'm going to do one. But we're going to do that thing. You know that thing we do when we're streaming? You we're, get it. We buy one out. You buy us one. You buy us one. So we're gonna honor system, y'all, right now. We're doing one, and then we're hoping you're gonna buy us one back. Yeah, and because we trust you, you all are part of the donation nation. You are our loyal viewers, our loyally loyal fan base. Um, without y'all, we wouldn't be here, and we wouldn't be able to do this seven days a week. So we appreciate it, and we thank you. And like I said, we trust you. So when we say that we're gonna do this, um, we know that y'all are gonna come through and have our backs. And thank you guys for tuning in. Um, it just says, has a little no microphone sign on. Also, I'll start the bid on this rare memory 7 inch. There we go. At $5. Yeah. This memory, rare memory yeah, 7 inch. You're on here. Bid it starts at $5 for this one, guys. Okay, we're looking. I only got one of these. It's looking good. Okay. Jimmy's yeah. looking pretty good. Ready? Man, I'm currently in the, in the, in the vocal, vocal booth right now. That's what's up. Okay. I can hear myself with a little bit of delay. I'm not sure. That's the way. We're getting another call. <coughs> Caller, you're live on the Nartapes Network for Paranormal Narcast. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, my name's Kevin. I'm calling from San Diego. What's up, dude? What up, dude? Hell yeah. How you doing, man? What's up? I'm kill it. Oh, you gotta turn down your uh, turn down that your computer. Oh, the computer. Oh, shit. Ah. Okay, there we go. Don't you, don't you remember when you watched Love Line as a kid and they said, "Turn down your radio." The same and then thing. Adam would be like, "My God, turn down your radio! Haven't you watched enough Love Line?" Yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty good uh, pearl of it. What up, dude? Uh, that's what I call pearl. I, uh, I wanted to tell my paranormal story. All right. Go ahead. Oh, go on. Oh, wait, am I on right now? Yeah, yeah you're, you're live right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I, so I, I, I go to the scene or something, right? And I'm playing with my Ouija. Are you okay? May have lost her caller. Are you okay? He said, I'll play a Ouija board and. I'm gonna go out. So just... Oh, this, that's where the delay's coming from. It's on our end. But uh, we, lo our, we lost the caller. Okay, well maybe they'll call back. Um, that was a little... Uh... The deal he says, yeah, he's like Jeff the Drunk on Howard, lol. Why am I echoing, lol. <laughs> Why those guys say, lol, Jeff the Drunk? It's so funny, people like uh, Howard and Stern. That's what Corey wanted to do when we were on tour. I was like, I don't know if I'm into this, Howard Stern guy. I don't <laughs> think he's not, I don't think he's he like bad. It's just, he's, he's not that funny to me. He's like funny like once an hour. Hmm. <laughs> 
It's not <laughs> boring. I mean, it's just kind of boring. It's not bad. I was like, I just imagine like, like, try like, like, sanitation workers in like Jersey listening to him or something like that. You know, like, I'm turning up the contrast and brightness. All right, Jim, can you hear us? Yes, yes I, I hear, hear you. you. I'm walking. I'm walking to the haunted store right now. Currently okay. still walking. So uh, just make sure you you talk, and we can hear what you're saying. And um, explain everything that you're seeing um, as soon as you walk into the building. Oh, oh, oh. Trying, trying to figure out my light situation. situation. I'm a little nervous. Should but, we do? Um, try, I'm uh, excited to do this. I'm not that scared. I'm just, you know, a little nervous. Yeah, you walked uh, here in. You walked in there in the dark a million times, right? Uh, this, this will be my, my first, first time. time. I've never done this before. Right. Uh oh, I hear, I hear, I hear something. something. I hear something. Well, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's in there right now. Oh he, my. Uh, I got it. Okay. Can you can see, you see me? me? Yeah. I can see you. Yeah. I'm walking looks, there. Looks scary, like alien or something. Seems like your connection is uh, maybe troubled. I know that uh, that sometimes uh, um. Is he, are you on the Wi-Fi? You should maybe just get it on your LTE. The LTE sometimes is the reception is tough around here. Sometimes <laughs> I know. It's just switching okay, from this. Router, Wi-Fi to the other one. That's when you like. Can't, it just gets choppy yeah. for a sec. Makes sense. It'll pick back up. The house. Uh, this used to be a house, house, here, house here, and this this place, place is haunted here. here. And you can, you can see, see this. There hasn't has been anybody here for a few, for a very long time. Uh, I, think I think this structure, structure was built in the 1920s. 1920s. Um, it was home to, to to Ralph Ramirez. He was. Uh, as a registered uh, murderer in the, in the 1920s. And this is his house, and you can see the window is still damaged from the house fight that he had in, uh, I believe it was 1925. So um, we're gonna go in here. Uh, I just want the viewers to know if anybody is uh, a little weird or um, has uh, scared, can be scared at all very easily, then I highly recommend that you uh, watch something else because this is gonna be very scary. And true. Yeah, okay. yes, so true. I have to go around the back because this door is still locked, and uh, it's been over 70 years since they've opened this door. But I'm going to go around through the, the shop, and uh, this is the location is right next to the store, and so the demons hopefully will be able to hear me from inside the shop here, right? Oh my God! Be careful, bro. Did he? Okay. He says I think the ghosts are haunting the Wi-Fi. Yep. Wi-Fi yeah, ghosts. Really that's real. choppy reception coming from Jimmy. I don't know if that's from the ghosts. What? Yeah. I think we'll, uh, once it gets inside, uh -oh. I think, um... What's up? Ah, it's just a dog. Okay, it's just the dog, again. Okay, I'm gone. Alright. I'm almost there. there. Alright, be careful, be cautious, be aware. Okay, thank you. Well, alright, I'm, I'm about, about to go, go in the door. door. Here. Uh, here's a haunted van behind me. I haven't seen this van. It's an unknown van, unmarked van, no license plate numbers, no, no uh, identifying markers of it behind me, and it seems to be very old, maybe from the 90s or 80s. Wow. Ghost van? So I'm going in, going in the shop here. DDLV says the characters oh, yeah. are the best. It's hit or miss, so the whack pack is the best. Chilo. All those guys, the people who come on the, the on make that stern show good. Yeah, DDLB, the black pack is the best. Orgoth says, Jimmy, watch out for the shadow people. True. Uh, DDLB says, nah, man, Beetlejuice. By those guys, Artie Lang was funny. DDLB says, LOL, that's old. He hasn't been on the show for like three years. And he's, uh, uh, Landon says, what the fuck is this? You're watching the uh, Paranormal Narcast. We're doing a live uh, uh, ghost uh, hunter oh. investigation right now. In, the, in, in a haunted, records, in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. At a haunted record store. I think I got uh, DVD maybe Jimmy should right try here. calling back in again. Maybe the reception will be better. Recording. It's really choppy. Uh, maybe. Right, let's go. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Stop. All right. I was wondering why, why Bob Dylan's grandmas would be better than Jimmy's. The electric uh, voice phenomenon. I'm going to report that and see if we can get anything. Yeah. And, we're, okay. and, we're doing, and on the Wi Fi, we're doing all sorts of things that are using all the Wi Fi right now. All right. Uh, Bree Bakes, uh, says, Jimmy, you're okay. brave. Landon says, why is this in the Overwatch section? Because <laughs> uh, we stream Overwatch sometimes. Yeah. But we're a band in Los Angeles, and this is a record label's channel. Uh, part, sometimes we do video game, uh, streams. 
Right now we're doing a paranormal stream. We're doing a live Ghost Hunter investigation. Yeah. But we play Overwatch. We got a lot of death. Yeah, we're, we're a multi-platform uh, uh, platform. I like there's like half a frame a second right now. Oh. You want to try calling back, Jimmy, see what happens? Sure. Yeah, it's got really, really choppy. Yeah. All right. Let's... Uh, we, we, we're gonna... we lost connection to our paranormal investigator. Yeah, we hope he's okay over there. Here we go. Here we go. Hello? Can, can you see me? me? Not yet, but we can hear you all right. How about now? Uh, still just... There, uh, we go. there we go. Still kind all of... Right. Uh, Are you on the... Yeah. Well, you know... I'm on... All I'm the best on, ghost no, uh, videos are choppy, right? I'm in the store, store now. And you're you're not on the Wi-Fi. I'm not on the Wi-Fi <coughs> now. I'm maybe try that. connecting maybe, to the Wi-Fi again. Yeah, maybe like stop, call, stop, and like get on the Wi-Fi and wait a couple seconds and then call us back. Try that. Okay. All right, we're trying to Luckily, get the... not all haunted locations um, have Wi-Fi. Luckily yeah, for us, our haunted, haunted record store does open. have Wi-Fi. This is true. We still have 20 watching, 23 likes. Enzo says, what's the ghost's name? We do not know. The, the only time, that only interaction I've ever had with the ghost was I heard... Uh, there we go. Much better. Her say... There yeah. we go. There we go. All okay. right, you're back. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in there real quick, too. Very good. So, yeah. uh, we, so yeah. just to get everyone up to speed, up to date, this is Jimmy, a.k.a. Dr. Jerry Rogers. He is... Um, if, um, Doing a an, an, uh, an investigation, a paranormal investigation of our record store, Narberger in Los Angeles, California. It is haunted. Uh, multiple people have had sightings and and, and witnessed things Don't in the shop. Well, and uh, so we decided that uh, we're going to to check it out with and in the dark of night and um, see if we could catch anything spooky on camera or on the audio. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing? Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm here, here with, with Ricky. Ricky. You made it here into the shop. Now he's still here. Um, and yeah, we're uh, we're in the shop now. Um, we're about. So this is light number two. Okay, uh, this is have a switch. All right, let's get. You see, here this is we're in the, the record store here. Hell yeah! Uh, it's uh, as you can tell, pretty you know, uh, This is a true story here too. Jimmy has been uh, goofing around a lot on this. This is fine because we like to goof around here. Uh, but here we go. Uh, when this spot used to be a Zuma place, it was ran by a family, and they lived in here. This is true. And when I was, we were getting the place, I talked to the guy as he's moving out, and I asked him if he is, at the end of our two-hour conversation, I was like, "Have you seen anything, you know, weird or creepy?" He's like, "Oh yeah, me and my wife have seen her." Uh, and that, that's that's for true, and that fucking blew my mind. I didn't say that I never even heard a woman's voice, because I have heard a woman's voice in the back building. Uh, but I've never heard one in here, and, not, and a lot of people sleep in the store here and have not experienced anything, but at the same time, they saw her walking around in here. That's so, some creepy ass shit. If we can't get her to come out for us, um, and that's pretty much what we're doing here. Uh, I'm going to leave it back over to Jimmy and Dane now. And, uh, yeah, you got the, sorry, just put a bunch of plants up on the couch. Just down we, got somewhere. The, we got the EVPs going. Uh, we're going to be... Dane's here, my, my assistant here. Uh, we got the EVPs going live right now, so it's recording and picking up everything that we see it here. So we will see what happens here. Uh, a little, little nerve-wracking. Okay, so um, scary, but let me flip my camera here. So do you think um, you should once you start asking questions, you you'll we'll, we'll let you uh, give give a nice long break so we can capture any EVPs. Um, yeah. On the audio in between questions. True. And we okay. actually might be able to uh, pick up EVPs just through the uh, Google. Yes. So okay. um, uh, let yeah, us know when you're going to start conducting the investigation, and then we'll, we'll, we'll be quiet, well, and then we'll, we'll watch. Um, yeah. Just, just okay. so everyone knows, well, we have Jimmy Leslie in um, our record store, Narberger. Yep. Uh, if you just tuned in, um, it is reportedly haunted, so lots of people have uh, had sightings there. And so, um, what better place to do, perform an investigation right here on the Paranormal Narcast on the Nar Tapes Network? This is true. I'm having Nar Network shirt on. And so, oh, I love that. Jimmy is um, is is about to start um, asking questions, and uh, everyone, 
<laughs> and facial juice is that ectoplasm? Not quite yet. Um, so everyone, we're going to uh, let Jimmy do this, and and we're gonna see if anything happens, if we see anything, or if we hear anything. Um, all right, Jimmy, take it away. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to you now, bud. Jimmy, I don't want to interrupt your investigation, but was that um uh, Bruce Springsteen I saw on the cover of Costco magazine right there? <laughs> Uh, uh, let, let me, me check, check this out. out. Um, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, that is Bruce Springsteen, the boss, pens a candid memoir for Costco Connection Magazine 2014. That's a smart record oh. store that's framing that. It's going to be worth a lot yeah. of money someday. Very, very smart. Oh, so I'm uh, at, I hope we I'm get to see him shop. one time and get it signed. I'm, yeah. All right, so, okay. so I'm at the front of the shop right now. Um, and uh, this would be the walk, the, the first place you would walk in when you come into the Zumba studio. And uh, so it's got a tile floor. And I'm just kind of walking around um, the old classical box set record. And I notice there's a stone on the floor here. So I'm going to I'm gonna put the stone. I'm, this is my idea. I'm going to position the stone somewhere. And uh, hopefully by the end of this investigation, maybe the stone will move or we'll see what happens. But just so you guys can folks at home can see where the stone is in relation to the floor. It's right there. That's the stone I'm talking about. Right when you walk in, so there should be no reason that that stone is moved by any weird wind or anything at all. So I'm just gonna leave that stone there. Just Maybe do a, that. Try a piece of paper as well on the counter or something. Okay. When, I, when we got that Costco yeah, uh, at magazine in the mail, I just laughed so hard. Yeah. That I actually went and I grabbed one of my only frames of that size and I had to frame it. <laughs> and Remember I how I was like, dude, look. The magazine because I also agreed that it'll uh, it, it's gonna be I. I I believe that to be a, our peace of mind. Yeah. Is <laughs> that, is that my frame's Costco, yeah. Bruce Springsteen. At my uh, first art group, at my first gallery show, I want to sell that for like $1,000. I'm not going to take any less. Yeah. Um, all right, Jimmy, so you have a piece of rock on the ground. You're going to put a piece of paper on the counter just to see maybe um, if something breezes in and it might uh, blow off the counter. Who knows? And I'm all right. there. It's right there. Um, all right, so... Um, what else are you Oh, it's a headless up? man. Oh, shit. Look at this Narthia's network, dude. G, G, G. My sleeveless. I'm also wearing a cool undercover yeah. style under the shit. A custom shirt that I made underneath this shit. Uh, I cut these sleeves and the, and the hem. I got this Narthia's network on here. Isaac made that shit. I cut the sleeves off, that bitch. And uh, you can get one of these yourself if you go to narthia.com slash GTG. And if you want me to make a sleeveless and you want me to hem that shit, just say it in the comments, dude. It's easy. It's chill. I use a chopping block. It's super straight. There's no fucked up little lines and shit. It's good. So, <laughs> Nartapes.com slash TDG. If you buy a Nartapes Network shirt tonight, you get a free Nartapes Network enamel pin, which comes na next week. Can't wait to see those. Any? Uh, do you have anything to report, uh, Jerry? Uh, I just sat down in the shop. Um, I'm sitting uh, in the east. Uh, wall of the shop right now. It seems pretty quiet in here. I haven't heard anything, not even a mouse or a cockroach or anything. So, uh, pretty silent. Not much going on here, but um, just kind of letting it, letting the air settle. Show more of the room. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're in here right now, and we're just gonna kind of let it, let it mellow for a sec before uh, we really start letting uh, the ghosts know we're here because we. You know, they can sense that we're in here now. Let, but, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, let people start seeing the room, because they, maybe won't. they might see ghosts. So start showing the room unless your face. Okay. So let's show the room here. Do you have the uh, back door closed? Back door is now closed. Uh, okay. Let's see. So this is what I'm looking at here. Um, if you see over here, this is where the bathroom is. In the bathroom... It's probably the, the most eastern part of the store that you can see. And, uh, oh. What the fuck was oh, yeah. the door? The toilet. Me. Um, oh my god. The fuck? Okay. Um, yeah, so here we are. That's the bathroom. And uh, this is the shop that's closed. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty creepy place. You can see that's the old chandelier. And, uh, yeah. So here we are in the shop, the record store here. Kind of a scary place. Dane's got the EVPs going. So, uh, yeah, I'm in here. Ask a... As you guys, so far, quiet as, a, quiet as, a, as an, an unplayed whistle. 
Ask if there's anyone in the room. Is there anyone in the room? Is there anybody here? Try Spanish. Hay gente aquí. I heard a car drive by right as I asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> try, try, ask it again one more time. Okay. Hay any gente aquí en la tienda de discos? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have a what is your name? Como se llama? Tell them if they are afraid that you mean them no harm in English and Spanish. If you are afraid then we mean you no harm, and you are safe. Es tienes muerto, estás muy bien conmigo. Yo soy su amigo. Sí. I can't tell if I'm hearing a little squeak from a feedback or if that that's a cricket, but that's something. So far, nothing. Um, Morgoth says, ask them if they like disco. <clears throat> no, he, he said, ask, the, he has a question mark there. Oh. No, he, he asked me if they were at the, uh, the record store. Yeah, I see. But yes, we have lots of disco records. Video uses, uh, uh, all the way out this Spanglish. Bobby's grandma says, try ancient Sumerian. Try from a different position of the store. Stand by. All right. So if you're just tuning in. Um, Dr. Jerry Rogers, PhD, is in um, Narberger Record Store in Los Angeles, California, um, a reportedly a haunted uh, place, and we are here on the Paranormal Narcast um, investigating what kind, what what could be happening, and what certain people have told us they've seen. We're trying to see if we can uh, see what they saw. Yes. So, um, all right. Very true. There's a little boy holding a what seems to be a juggling ball. Is it a ghost? No, it does not. It does not seem to be a ghost. Definitely not. Just an image. Okay. So I'm trying from the southeast. Oh yes. Yeah, the closet. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna op we're gonna open up the closet. Okay. Uh and. Tread, tread lightly. Yeah. Closets are, are places you of great mischief. you got to put the camera mischief. down where we're getting a lot of the ceiling. Okay, we're going to try the closet here. Right, there might be some skeletons see. in the closet. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's I thought it was Sasquatch. It's Dane. <laughs> no. I can okay, be here. your team of me. All right, so right now you guys are watching. Uh, let me tell everybody at home what we're doing right now. If you guys are just joining us, this is the Nartapes Network first ever live paranormal investigation, Ghost Hunters style, um, at our very own record store here in Los Angeles. Uh, hosted right now by us, and Jimmy is live on location at our record store, uh, and he's just, and he's trying to see if the spirit will come out and talk to us. Looks like there's a skeleton in a um, broken arm in there. Skeleton in the closet. Interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna... Show you guys the, the what's going on in the ceiling here. Maybe you see a body or anything, you let me know. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, let me see. Oh. oh Alright, guys, watch carefully. Um, you guys can help us spot anything freaky. How's that angle? It's good. It's definitely spooky. Looks like there's oh. some weird crust. All right. There seems to be some sort of fluffy pink ghost uh, wedged between the ducks. Okay. Um, oh, it's all the out. Ghostbusters. Yes. Okay. So this is the closet here. 
And the roof, the ceiling is exposed in the closet. I wonder if we so could get Eminem guys, to clean out the closet. closet. <laughs> no, I'll clean it, not your closet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vongo. <laughs> I didn't make to break this. All right, so it doesn't look like there's any uh, ghosts up there. I would shit myself if there was somebody something. Up there. Yeah. What are you doing in my ceiling? Or like a rake? Okay. Yep. Jane, would... how are the VPs reading? It'd be sick if they <laughs> set something up. But we'll listen up closely later. <laughs> yeah. All right. Jane's still got the EVPs going. So yeah. Cool. All right. Um, I right. think maybe so, we should play the uh, intro. Are we play the intro? Stand by, guys. Stand by, everyone. Stand by, Jerry. Okay. I, I actually got you, Boone. When I jumped in the screen. Oh, yeah. I almost choked, apparently. That's true. Or did you laugh? I fucked in that movie so hard as a kid. Yeah. The Headless Horseman. Yeah. That was a great one. Great, great. Ichabod! The story's great. Ichabod Crane. <laughs> Isn't it Bing Crosby? Yeah. 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 Uh, I like Bing Crosby uh, as a kid a lot. Um, got some classics. I really liked um, On the Road to Morocco. We're off on the road <laughs> to Morocco. <laughs> I was like, Kalikimaka is the thing to yeah, say. Yeah, that was tight. Yeah. Tail Boone says, oh, it's all good. I just uh, haunt Gnar forever. If you died. Oh, boy. Okay, um, Jimmy. Kelly, Ken, Kelly, are you still in the roof Kelly. there? You're in the ceiling? Where does this going out? Different part of the ceiling. Where? I don't want to get my phone stuck up here. Okay. So, we just, uh, put the phone in the ceiling. You mean your ghost camera? And, uh, the ghost cam. The ghost cam. The wireless the ghost satellite ghost cam. Yes. Um, exactly. And also, everything is allegedly haunted, too. Ceiling. The allegedly haunted and ceiling. I'm gonna stick... Yes, and I'm, I'm going to stick my phone in this hole here. You guys see that? Ghost cam. I mean, my... Ghost cam, sorry. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah. No, we uh, we lost a uh, signal. May there might be some sort of ghost activity in the hall. Huh? Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Video how signal about, is down. How about now? Still no video. Oh, there we go. We've we got we've received video back from the satellite uh, ghost cam. That's creepy. Okay, I'm, I'm noticing something suspicious with this hole. Then um, I noticed that the signal was lost. That is oh, that is yeah, definitely of note. You see a green light there? It's not in here, it's on the camera. It's only on the camera. What the fuck is that? Where? We're seeing, where you see this green. Look at that. Yeah, it's a green light. It's like a little green light. Oh. Wait, the, uh, the microphone thing. Okay, never mind. It's the little microphone uh, <laughs> on my phone. It, it lets me know with audio the little green Oh. Light. Oh, okay. shit. That tripped me out. Okay. It got day two. All right, so, yeah, this whole, there's something weird going on here. Um, I'm gonna stick my my uh, ghost cam in this hole again and see if we can uh, go through with this. All right? You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right, we're in. 
Okay. Uh, once again, a um, it's the roof. See anything, Funkle? I'm not seeing anything. Nothing spooky. Ask questions to the ghost. Yeah, ask the ghost. Uh, ask, ask them if they like to see if they if they're up in the ceiling. Is there anyone up in the ceiling? I I am the head there, arriba in the ceiling. <laughs> Um, doesn't look. How's that angle? It's looking good. Okay. Definitely uh, gonna capture a, a ghost. I get a question here. All right. How old are ghosts? Quantos años tiene ghost? Sixteen. Estás adentro en la tienda de discos. Viente siete. I don't know if there's anything in there. It might be reacting to the... Um, I know the ghost on the premises is, is um, reacts very much to electronics, so it might be reacting to the very presence of the ghost tracking um, uh, technology. That is what I call... A uh, paranormal catch twenty two. Okay, I'm gonna come down. Come All right. Back. Be careful. All right, we're down. All right, wonderful. I don't know. I think that uh, the stealing is probably. Still up to, up for debate if there was anything going on up there. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we'd have to have a camera up there for a lot longer. Um, you know what I mean? DDLV says, y'all need some night vision. Yeah, we need some donations to be able to afford some night vision goggles, mm -hmm. cameras. These kind of things are expensive, and we have only made $20, $30 on the show tonight. Yeah. 32 uh, yeah. 37. yeah. Can you see me? I think I lost connection there. Not even 3763. Uh, 2763. Yeah. We've only made 2763, guys. This is sad. There's not a way to fund an, uh, uh, a, uh, a, uh, paranormal Narcast. True. Same with the Narioki night last night. Alright, tell them to show yourself. Show yourself, ghost. Tell, tell them, show me the money. Show me yourself, ghost. Come on, here. ghost. Oh, what is your name, and why are you here? There you go. Yeah, yeah, Brand, uh, Jimmy's, Brandon says, Jim, you may have to antagonize the ghost to get a reaction. It's yeah. true. Right, start clowning on yeah. the ghost. Okay. Ghost, I don't give a fuck about you, and I think you're a pussy, and <laughs> why don't you try and scare me, you little bitch? <laughs> there you go. That was pretty good. Antagonize that fucking ghost. It looks like those are eyes, but I know that's not real. Ghost, tell me what you got. I'm not afraid of your little crap. I'm a fucking big boy, and you fucking... <laughs> you know what? I don't care that you've been around here. Because this isn't your place. This is my fucking record store. <clears throat> so why don't you suck a ghost cock? <laughs> Brandon says taunting and such. He always says, yell bro at the ghost. Brandon says, wow, this guy's a pro. <laughs> Anything? What's up, bro? You think I'm scared? Show me some shit. I ain't fucking scared of your shit. Where are you at? Ghost, do you believe in the devil? Nice. Ghost, love that kind of talk. Come on, Ghost. I don't give a fuck about you. Ooh, I want to put aliens. Okay. All right. Interesting. Nothing. So far, the investigation um, a lot of the ceiling inconclusive. Still. still a lot of the ceiling. There we go. Yeah. 
Don't forget some of the techniques you learned on Real Ghost Adventures. Yeah, get down. <clears throat> uh, Brebeck says, you, yeah, you tell him, Jimmy. Bob Dylan's grandma says, Jimmy the pro ghost wrangler. Did he always says, come at me, bro. So far, nothing scary yet. But ghost, if you are in here, give me some sort of sign or signal that you are in the store right now. Can You can show me or do that might scare me. Any sort of signal at all to prove oh, that you're in the room. Oh, shit. The TV's on. Whoa. What? That's a signal. No um, way. You're putting us on, what? aren't you? It's the EVP. Yeah. What did we ask it? Why did you turn on the TV? Ask it to turn off the TV. Por qué le prende la televisión? Tell them to turn it down, turn it off the television. Maybe it likes when the Maybe television turn, is on. Maybe turn down, Ghost, if you're in here, turn down the television. Turn off. Turn off the television, Ghost. Ghost, if you're in the store, turn off the television. So on, huh? Yeah. But well, we're looking at it. We're looking at it. <laughs> Just Jimmy says, oh shit. By those guys, y'all motherfucker got a poltergeist. Sean Maker says, Jimmy, watch out for Ghost Dad. If he offers you pills, just say no. Bob those guys says, y'all motherfucker got a poltergeist. Okay. Uh, I'm a little scared right yeah, now. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, what, what should I say? What? Uh... Should I play a movie? Well, I'm gonna meet you guys in there. What is your favorite movie? Yeah. Ghost, what is your favorite movie and how old are you? 16. Uh, ¿Qué es su película más favorito de todos los películas de todo el mundo y por qué? You guys. All right. Um, He's still on. Um, Ghost, why did you turn on the? No, actually, Ghost, if you turned on the TV, give me some sort of sign. La televisión. Dame una. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Robedor, que lo hace eso. You guys. This is crazy. We got 16 watching now, and they're in, they're experiencing something very sh crazy. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, we are doing a paranormal investigation of our record store here in Los Angeles called Nar Burger, and um, it's been reported. Uh, we've had a number of reportings where people have experienced um, some sort of a paranormal activities, and so tonight we decided to investigate ourselves. And uh, just to fill you in. Uh, Dr. Jerry Rogers and Dane were in there asking the ghost questions when all of a sudden the TV turned on. It looks like the the feed to the um, the ghost cam has uh, has frozen up. Do you think they're okay? I don't know. Do you suppose we're 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 messing with some dark magic that we shouldn't be messing around with? Right There's now? something something scary going on out I there. I heard a noise. All right. I'm well, gonna you're you're going to leave now, too? Yeah, I'm going to have to All go right, investigate. Um, Hold down the fort, Isaac. Okay. All right, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in to uh, the Paranormal Narcast uh, right here on the Nartapes Network. We're experiencing a technical difficulty. We were um, uh, connected by a satellite to uh, Dr. Jerry Rogers, who is in our record store. Um, investigating um, some paranormal reports that we received over the past few years. Um, Jer Jerry, are you okay? What's wrong? What happened? I'm here. I'm here now. Um, weird thing, my phone. See, I mean, my uh, my ghost um, ghost cam, which, which never really happens this way, but it uh, seemed to die on me. I thought I had more of a charge on these batteries, but it seemed to go away after asking the ghost. Uh, what was the last question I asked the ghost? To show you a sign. To show me a sign. And then my phone, phone died. died. I mean, my ghost cam died. It actually did die. I'm charging it right now. 
Okay, um, so did the, is the TV still on? Like those camp cards are plugged in right now. See that? Yeah. That's charging. Or wait, it's going the other way. Okay, so... Uh, so that could have... camp is charging. That could have been a sign. Yeah, I mean, electronics, you know? Yeah, it's drains electronics. Yeah. Mine, mine's draining too. It's almost dead. Brandon said, please don't use the word die around the ghost. Be em empathetic. Oh, yeah, your phone lost battery. No, it's not a phone. It's a ghost cam. Oh, yeah, your ghost camera's battery um, became, uh, uh, lost its charge. Take note of the piece of paper that we placed. Uh-oh. What Shit. the fuck? What's happening now? I heard Burglar uh, Brett. I, I don't understand. You see that? It's the hat man. It's, I think... Hold on, you guys. I'm gonna ask. I, oh my God, is it the ghost of Burglar Brett? What? It might just be him. Be careful. What? You guys, hold on. Shh. Are you, you guys see that? I saw some. Oh my God. Oh, That's him. Oh, 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 Burglar Brett. Brett. Burglar Brett. Shit. Oh, you guys. Oh, fuck. Fuck. You guys. Oh, Whoa. Fuck. Wait. Wait, Wait Burglar Brett. It's off. 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 Oh shit. Uh, Brett. Brett. Whoa. Uh oh, we lost Kay. connection. Um, so maybe Fungo, you should go check in on him, huh? Yeah. Shit. I'm a little sir, scared wait. of Burglar Brett. Um, hold on. Um, all right, guys, we're having a uh, great episode of the Paranormal Narcast. Um, we lost connection with Jimmy. I hope he's okay. Um, last, okay, here we go. Is this him? The door to the store is locked. Where is it? Yeah. Okay, we uh... Bree says, uh, hold me, I'm scared. DLB says, haha, finally more guys says, get your gun, Jimmy. Okay, so, uh, burglar Brett's in the house. He, um, in the middle of our- Hello? Oh, Just a shit. moment here. Burglar Brett! Burglar Brett, are you there? Oh, yes. Is it really you or is it your ghost? Oh, I'm it's Burglar you. Brett! It's you. Paranormal investigator Burglar Brett. <laughs> what did you do to Jimmy? Did you steal Jimmy's equipment? Yeah. Oh, guys, you fucking stole my shit. Oh. I'm trying to find a ghost and he took all my shit. Ah. Oh, look at me, you're Burglar Brett. Paranormal investigator Burglar Brett. Okay, um, Burglar Brett. Um, take it easy on Jimmy. He looks scared. Um, how about you ask the ghost some questions? Okay. Have you seen the ghost before? Uh, Burglar Brett, I've never seen a ghost. Alright, there we go. I mean, of course I've seen ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on it out there. Do they ever try to stop you from burglarizing? No. Interesting. Burglar Brett. Is there anybody in this house? You gotta be nicer. A burglar Brett. A burglar Brett? Here, Burglar Brett. Doesn't seem like we have any activity going on in this room at all. Besides not even that, these are trespassing, and I was going to activate here at all. Scary eyeballs into the walls, though. Yeah, is that real? No, it's a pain. Oh, okay. No, that's that's. I'm asking the. Uh, the former lady of this house to come forth and identify herself to Burger Brett. I'm not here to steal your stuff. It's Burger Brett. Or no one best yet. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this terminal. So, is anybody in here?
I got some guys. You know, I think that I would need more time here in the witching hour. Got a lot of activity on the street right here, making it hard to uh, focus on uh, any real uh, paranormal activity. Uh, I think that if you were trying to conduct a real paranormal uh, thing here, you'd want to be uh, on some kind of East Coast time zone and uh, be at 3 in the morning. But uh, Burglar Brett says that uh, you got a pretty uh, tame little spot here. Burglar Brett! Don't talk anymore. I'm trying to find a ghost. Well. Stephanie Cricket, I want to sit down on this couch. Let's see. Okay. Is there anybody here who doesn't understand what is going on right now? We come in peace. I'm getting a weird feeling over there. Honestly, gotta say it's pretty creepy over by the back door over there. Keep letting them know it's safe. You, they're in a safe place. You see that? The camera? What was that? I don't know. Did you see something? Pretty quiet in here. Hard to hear. There's a lot of traffic going on outside. As you can see. Yeah, there's no trucks allowed on the 110 freeway, so um, they use the Figueroa Street as their main vein. As you can see here, the uh, street out here is pretty busy. True. So, a lot of traffic going on. Burglar Brett. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna have to call it this, uh, this uh, investigation on the Burglar Brett side of things is uh, over. So I'm gonna release my hostages here, um, but not until I, uh, uh, somebody buys Isaac and Ricky a shot because they deserve it. That's right. Where is Ricky Burglar Brett? Um, he is taking a poop. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he's making a sandwich. Hopefully it's not a ghost poop. No. I hate those. Yeah, when you wipe and then yeah. they keep wiping. Yeah. All right, well, um, I'll, I'm going to see you guys next episode. And, uh, and, uh, with, uh, unless you guys get rid of, uh, unless you guys can get Jimmy and Dane out of here with, uh, with a couple shots. It's going to be a shot of tequila each hostage. All right. All right. We're going to need I'm to make Brett. 10 bucks. I'm a burglar, a burglar Brett. Paranormal investigator. Your songwriter, Burglar Brett. And I'm not letting these two go without two shots. That's fucked up. You have you have ten minutes to comply. Ten minutes to get ten dollars worth of shots, or nine dollars if you use your shop code GTG. Alright, so he hung up. He sounds pretty serious there. Um Burglar Brett has now Jimmy and Chibo held hostage in our own store. Um, which means he's close, or she's close, I'm not sure there. And, um, so we got ten minutes, and if we don't, I don't know what he's gonna do to them, but if you don't get me and Ricky a shot, I guess, in the next ten minutes, he might put the kibosh on them. Here's the thing, you guys, we're live on the Nartips Network, and we were trying to get a live ghost, a capture, a paranormal investigation of a live ghost, but now we've been given a very scary ultimatum, our resident spooky... Um, uh, burglar, burglar Brett, who seems to show up during the stream lately and kidnap people, has taken Chibo and Dr. Jerry Rogers hostage during their paranormal investigation live on the Paranormal Narcast. And so we are need, going to need to get Isaac and Ricky a shot of tequila that costs five bucks. If you use your shop code GTG, it'll be four fifty for a total of nine dollars. Um, and that is what you need to do in order to save their butts. That's right. Um, let me get caught up with the chats here real quick. Avalon says, scary. Brie Bake says, hi, Avalon. She says, hi, Brie. Boone says, hey, Avalon. Bonjour, she says. Uh, Brie Bake says, had to go buy a pizza. This was stressing me out. I need comfort food. Boone says something and um, something. I can't read that. BDG says, yeah, that's a good question. What time zones do ghosts run? 
on, or is it a regional ghost thing? Um, you True. know, it's just the dead of night. The darkest time of the night. Shadow Man says, Turd Burglar taking ghost shits. And the BJ says, Burglar Brett has a very impressive resume. You guys, we're at 2763. We're gonna, um, um, the spookiest thing on my plate is dealing with the landlord tomorrow. And, uh, so we're gonna need to get some cash flow, uh, increasing. Uh, we got tons, great viewership tonight. Lots of, uh, people in the chats. Um, we need you to call in. What about paying Burglar Brett to harm the captives rather than release them? Uh, yeah. he, he, we could probably get, talk to him about that. Yeah, Burglar Brett might like that, actually. He um, how much that. are you willing to pay? He, you know, he's, he's not the type of guy who's gonna, who's gonna let that go cheap. Um, but either way, just let us know in the chats, and uh, yeah. we might be able to sort it out. Who knows? Um, wow. So he has our friends again. Why do this always happens to me? Yeah, and uh, and it's something where I think we're gonna have to live with because we can't. We're not snitches. We're not gonna call the cops on Burglar Brett. You take care of it yourself. You had to run him a burglar, burglar Brett. Oh, yeah, no. same. What happened? Or I mean, he. I don't know where you where you have been. He told me you were taking a shit, but uh, I was. Um, he was in there and he took Jerry's phone, um, uh, ghost cam and was conducting his own paranormal investigation but then he got frustrated with nothing happening and so he took Jerry and Chibo hostage and unless the Narte Donation Nation buys you and Isaac a shot, we don't know, we don't we don't know. know what he's going to do. I tried to open the door, it was locked. He said 10 minutes. You guys have 10 minutes. Yeah, so I think that, and I think that was like 5 minutes ago. No. That's well, not know. good. No. no, it's fucked up. I'm gonna have a talk with Chico and think about this real quick and then get one. Do you want one of those, Isaac? I do. Well, I mean, I guess we need some people to buy some shots then. Yeah, um, and uh, and and shirts, um, and just a regular old donation would be great. Ten bucks worth of anything at this point, just to, to appease Burglar Brett. Um, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't want to frustrate him by getting something that wasn't shots for Ricky and I Isaac. I guess though. that's a good call. You never know. I don't want him to, to take me hostage, for example. Yeah. But he told me one interesting thing the other day when he was texting me about his song. Hmm. He says that once the album is done, we'll never have to kill him again. Oh. I wonder if we can trust him about that. Maybe by then we'll kind of like him. Yeah. Who knows? He's Burglar Brett. Pretty funny. He is Burglar Brett. Well, those grounds is you guys should invest in a guard dog. We got a guard dog. Go for it. And uh, some mace oh, after so many burglaries. Yeah, the only problem with the girlfriend is um, she's scared of masks or effigies or anything like that. I wonder if the guys are okay. Is anybody going to buy a shot for me and Isaac so we can release the guys from uh, the uh, clutch? He's in our, they're in our record store right now. I'm afraid that if I go in, he's going to do something drastic. I'm not ready to... Um, this just happens all the time now, man. This burglar Brett guy keeps taking my friends. Well, he's trying to get his album made, you know. He's... Yeah, but still, I'm threatening my friends. His life's. He's not gonna be a singer songwriter, burger of wet, till he has an album out. I guess you're right, but you gotta live it, man. If you're gonna be it and write, record it. He's living burglar. Mm-hmm. Who is? He is living the burglar. I don't know what he was doing in the store. I don't know what he's doing in there. Well, this world belongs to 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 those who take it. True. So I guess you're right. The early bird gets the worm. So what, guys? Is that it? We're just gonna leave Jimmy and uh and Chibo to to be tortured by some weirdo. Who knows what's gonna happen to them? We even took some dabs on the honors code that you guys would get us back on some. Um, and we have to do uh shit sometime like tomorrow or something. We should do that inside for Pantedian. Yes. And uh and 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 Tussie. Oh, yeah. The inside game. Maybe after apparent our after conspiracies tomorrow. Um, we only have 14 watching, 24 likes. It looks like uh, Jimmy and Chivo are kind of. It's looking pretty grim for the two in yeah, the store. Right the Nartapes Net donation, Nartapes Network donation nation just pulled anchors and just like are leaving Jimmy and Dane to the fucking sharks, dude. Yeah. Well. That's yeah, they haven't place. they haven't made any donations in a while. We've been on. We've, it'll be two hours that we've been on in five minutes. And our last uh, our last sale was an hour ago. What do I gotta do? And uh, I mean, I'm I show these. I want, let's see if somebody wants to. Somebody trying to go big tonight. Go big. I'm trying. To see. All right, guys. If you haven't yet, uh, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. I don't know if we got any new subscriptions tonight. Um, 
and please go to nardtapes.com slash gtg. You can uh, find there a bunch of our merchandise that we sell here. We do have a record label out there all. This is not just the Nardtapes Network where we uh, offer free um, media entertainment. And um, we do in a record label where we have records, tapes, cassettes, merchandise, shirts, hats, all sorts of everything. So nardtapes.com slash gtg. All right, guys, so here is some of my original artwork um, that I do. I usually do commissions. I just did, I'm doing one right now for, uh, I think it's one of the guys in Mr. Brain, uh, ele or, uh, Mr. Elevator in the Brain Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are some that I have for sale. I usually charge 150 175 for these, but I'll do them that are 100 tonight only. Otherwise, I'm saving them for my art show, and I'm going to start charging them for more. But you guys oh, we made a sale! Oh, there we go. How much? Four twenty from Pat Mac. Not not enough to to save the boys yet. Um, this one's for sale right now. One time only offer I'm ever gonna do it for reals on the network. hundred dollars for this, and then a hundred for this one. Even though I, I can't, this stuff's crazy. But I really want to make some money to fucking help pay the landlord tomorrow. So. These are both for sale right now, $100. They'll be shipped to you in uh, rolled up and safe in, pla uh, in uh, cardboard shipping tubes that are really safe. Everybody's gotten theirs. Spoon has one all the way in Singapore. And this one, I have to color still. This one is also for sale. And uh, I'll do it for 100 and color it still. So uh, who wants them? Is there any interest at all? Uh, uh, do you guys even like them? You don't have to buy them, but do you like them? I'm gonna put them away in a safe spot where I keep all my armor. Somewhere safe. DDLB says if they die, they die. Yeah. That's pretty fucked up. It's cold blooded. And then I said y'all cold you as have. fuck because that is crazy. We got 18 watching. What's nice. up, y'all? If you just tuned in, this is the Paranormal Narcast right here on the Narc Tapes Network. Um, on this particular show, we uh, explore and then. Talk about all things paranormal, uh, ghosts, UFOs, uh, mystical and mythical beings, um, creatures, and just the plain weird and unexplained. And uh, we have uh, shows every day of the week on the Nartapes Network. And tonight we have been conducting a, a paranormal investigation. Oh, we're getting a call. And um, we take calls, we take uh, donations and chats. Uh, so please go to nartapes.com slash gtg. Um, and get us something. Donate something. And like the video if you could. That would mean the world to me. Hello, caller. Who are you calling and where are you calling from? It's Burglar Brett. I'm uh, Burglar Brett. Oh, no. What's up? Yeah. What's up, Burglar Brett? You don't take me seriously, huh? I do. Yeah, we take you perfectly seriously. Yeah. It's just you take my friends and, like, it sucks. It's hard. It's hard talking to you, man. Uh-oh. Looks like our communication link has gone down. Burglar Brett, are you there? I'm here. I'm our, Burglar Brett. Our communications have, have, have been struggling. I'm giving you 15 more minutes to get to $10 and uh, counting that patent. Got it. We have 11. I'll so, so five, 580 more? Yes, and I'll let them go. And continue, they'll continue their investigation. Okay, we only need five dollars and eighty cents before eleven fourteen in order to to unlock our hostages, Dr. Jerry Rogers and Chibo. I'm serious this time. All right, um, you guys, this guy is not kidding or a woman, I'm not sure, um, but he has Jimmy. Oh, he has Jimmy, and he has Chibo held hostage inside the shop right now. What the fuck? What's happening? Something weird is going on. What's going on? What is it, Funkel? I'm perfect. I'm perfect. Oh, oh my shit. god. Close. Uh, it's too late now. He's too late. Funkel, run. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Shit. That was Burglar Bet. He was right outside the front door, I think, right here. Um, Funkel, Funkel went out to check. He was gone. Did you see him? But he was gone when you went back outside? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck is he, going on. He, he, Where is he? Oh, he's pretty uh, he was around. fast and sneaky for um, such a big... Oh, he's going back in the store. He's going back in the store. You see him? Yeah, he's going back in the store. Oh, fuck that. Fuck. Maybe... Can we call Jimmy? I was talking to this Tinder guy. 
This guy nice. on Tinder. <laughs> uh, well, you heard, you heard, you heard him. Or Damn. Um, burglar Brett is um, he's he's being pretty nice actually. He's only asking for us for another five eighty to complete the ten dollar combo, and he will release our friends uh, Jimmy, Doctor Jerry Rogers, Get and Chibo, and then they will be able to uh, continue the paranormal investigation. Um, until then, um, we still have no idea what he's going to do to them if we don't get the donations in. So, uh, that's just really scary, man. God dang it. He said we only have to what? 14 more minutes? Yeah, more, 13, 13 minutes, minutes now, from now, okay. yeah. Wow. Well, what are we going to do, guys? Well, there you go. I really want my brother and Jimmy to be fine. Yeah, and yeah, to continue too. on with the regularly scheduled programming of the episode. They almost caught a ghost, and then Burger Bear came. Some weird shit going What's on. happening? That was weird, man. What a weird fucking episode. So what man. happened? He came here and was he was looking at you guys? I yeah, so. it, I I could see through the door, and then I went out and there was nothing there. But then he was like right out there, but like like a Mothman. Like he, like remember in that part of Mothman Posse, the movie where the top right in your face? What happened to me? <laughs> Damn, yeah. dude. This guy, uh, fucking, uh, Burglar Brett is really starting to, uh, piss me off. Uh, it's too bad that, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm financially obligated to, uh, record his, this is You're album. locked in. I'm locked in. You were most definitely locked in. And I just really wish there was something that the viewers would do to help us. Yeah. And our friends. Was that 420? Was that for a joint? Yeah, um, I just said 420. Alright, we'll smoke a joint. And hopefully these guys will be okay. You know, they don't they don't care about them in the donation nation. Sure they die, they die. That's fucked up, DDLV. I remember that next time you're trapped by Burglar Brett. <laughs> Burglar Brett, my home to your He's not house. gonna be gone. He already told me he's not gonna go anywhere until we finish his album. Yeah. Ten songs, that's all we need to do. Who knows how long that'll take. We need to make four hundred and fifty more dollars. So if we just pay us four hundred and fifty dollars, we can be gone with him. That'd be awesome. Uh oh, yeah. we got an incoming call. Alright. Oh going? wait. No, I think that it's just last time. Uh, the call log or something. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, um, we're at a standstill right now until we get another 580. Yeah. Um, Dr. Jerry Rogers, PhD, paranormal investigator extraordinaire, and his assistant Chibo have been held hostage in our own record <coughs> store right here in Los Angeles <coughs> called Mar Burger by um, the one <coughs> and only Burger Brett with two T's. <coughs> Um, now, now he's being pretty cool. <laughs> I rolled it pretty good, right? Yeah. That's where I was when, when all that bread stuff was going down. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right, we've, uh, we've been on the air for two hours now. Pretty low number on our daytime show. Usually that would mean we'd be done already. Yeah. We've definitely gone after an hour and 20 minutes on the daytime scheduling. Um, Brandon Murphy says... Well, if he dies, then you got a ghost problem. Ghost problem solved. <laughs> no, it's not a ghost. It's burglar Brett. Burglar Brett's real. That's a burglar. Yeah, but if 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 they die, then their ghosts will be there. Oh, Don't you guys care about me and my brother? I see. My mom. I see what you're saying. What well, Jimmy's mom? We don't even like Jimmy. We like Jimmy's mom, man. Come on, dude. Jimmy's mom would be bummed. See, we don't even know what they're going to do to Jimmy, though. You, you assume that he's going to get killed. But Burger, Burglar Brett seems like the type to, like, not kill. And he's just going to maybe slowly steal from Jimmy while he's tied up um, for the rest of his life. You know what I mean? The slow True. death. The real slow, slow I'm death. text Jimmy. Make sure he's okay. Let's make sure that, that he's okay. And, um... Come on, guys. We really only need a five five dollars and eighty cents to save our friends. And then um, I'm texting Jimmy right now. And once once we can get them he has his phone. out of captivity, um, we'll continue the par paranormal investigation. Maybe um, if we get some more sales after that, we'll watch some more videos. Who the fuck knows? Um, Burglar Brett's around here somewhere, and uh, uh, he I, has I told Jimmy to hang, out, hang in there. We're only five seventy seven away. I know it's not very much, but sometimes with the donation nation, they won't even give you that. <coughs> or five, 580, right? 580? Yeah, because it was 420. Oh, yeah.
Uh, Brandon says, uh, Burglar Brett is a sadist. He'll make it count. Yeah. True, he'll make, he'll turn someone into a ghost. That goddamn Burglar Brett. A man. filleted ghost. Fillet o Jimmy, if you will. One dollar on Fridays during Lent at, uh, our sponsor, from our sponsor. He's doing okay, man, but he seems scared. Jimmy's, you can tell by the way he texted his handshake. <laughs> And that's not just his regular shake. It's a, it's the, it's a new shake. <coughs> Come on, guys. Where's everyone at? Who's still watching? Who's still in the chat? We 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 are at a we're at a standstill right now. Austin Dwiggins, yeah, man. If you're on this right now, uh, if you can send that money for the discogs, and you'll be uh, right now, you'll save their lives. Here you go. I've seen that before, and I've seen it again. We can get them out of jail, out of prison. Burglar Brett's um, custody. We don't want. We don't want our friends to be in a, in such a uh, in a position where. Come on, Austin Dwiggins. I know you can do it. I have. I have both those tapes right now. I'm gonna grab them. <coughs> Hello, guys. <coughs> Thank you for tuning in to a paranormal narc. Narcast right here on the Nartapes Network. I'm Isaac Arita. I am one of your hosts on this particular show. And my name is Uncle Funkel. I'm the technical uh, director and vice president of the company. That's right. And um, we're here, um, and this show is all about uh, everything paranormal, whether it's spooky uh, ghouls, yeah, uh, yeah. UFOs, mythical uh, and mystic beasts and creatures, or um, just plain weird and unknown. Um, we talk about all that here today. We watch videos, we have chats, we have call people call in with their stories, and uh, we hang out, smoke yes. weed, and uh, drink some time. Here's the free weed stamp gas can split, Austin Wiggins, and then here's the DJ free weed transit tracker. Wow, this is the last one. I'm gonna miss these little babies. Yeah. This is for you, buddy. Just yeah, whatever that Discogs price was, plus a little shipping. I got you, bud. And you can save the boys. And then you'll save the boys from Burglar Brett. Burglar Brett. Is one maniacal sob. Man, that burglar Brett. Sometimes when I say burglar Brett's name a lot, it makes me hungry. Cause I keep hearing burger, 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 burger. Burger Brett. Burger. We need a shot at a time like this. Yeah. Yeah, that def that was exactly what he said. Two shots. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but that's exactly what he wanted. So we got. A, a donation for 420, which was nice. But he called back after that, I'll right? Hit that and 420. Said, and said there you go. And it was good, right? He he, he said, said he said that'll work it. towards yeah. He's being he's being uh, mm -hmm. merciful, Brett. Yeah. All right, that's merciful good. Merciful. See, I knew there's a good side to him. Man, you know what I really could use at a time like this is a shot. How many shots can we get? But also, I could really use a pumpkin. It's it. I want to try the uh, coffee one. I saw the coffee one we were in San Francisco last time, and I was foolish to not buy it. We got 12 watching now. People are starting to uh, they're fading out. Starting to fade out. There you go. Well, it's looking pretty, pretty well, bleak. Well, that's something you have in common, isn't it? Looking pretty bleak. You know what? Um, I'm. Uh, uh, I got asked to do the uh, Death Stock Three after party at the Knockout on the next day. Hell yeah! And uh, I want to do that and. Uh, I have a feeling that everybody's going to want to stay up there, but you stay with me? Yeah. I'm going to say if everybody wants to stay. Might be fun. Oh, please. But also because I want to get a bunch of incense. Yeah. And eat them throughout the day. Yes. I want to get like uh, I can only have one a day. I can have one in the in the early part of the day and then one before I go to bed. That sounds cool. Yeah, like I could do that. I there would have to be like this. Fuck me up. There's a lot of cookie and chocolate. There's not really it's that much true. ice cream. That's true. There's not that much ice cream. You're really. right. It's about a, it's like less than a paletta. Yeah, you're right. Or about as much as a paletta. Yeah. I say, why doesn't Adobe have? Um, they have Flash Live Media Encoder, but I think Adobe should do their version of this, and it should have rotation and keyframes, and maybe they're working on it. Maybe. I hope it comes out because I would be good in that in that software. I'm burglar brand. <coughs> Guys, come on. All right, it's it. We're got people fading out. Uh, we want to save the show, but I guess that people are just gonna are just giving up. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, four more minutes to get a sale in, or burglar Brett has my brother, and the show's over. 
And Jimmy. Think about Jimmy. Yeah, it, it was a pretty uh, unambitious goal, too. Yeah. But, um, Burglar Brett, um, I mean, he's just trying to help in his own weird way. Yeah. It's like, uh... Interesting. It's, yeah. It's really... You think maybe he's trying to... In a weird, fucked up, sadist way, trying to help us? Yeah, maybe. <coughs> <coughs> Wow, that's interesting. I'm gonna take a shot for Burglar Brett then. Um, my guess is he's not just like any superhero storyline. Burglar Brett is not gonna be the only bad guy that we encounter on the Dark Knight Network. Mm. No, definitely not. Well, you are. The Burglar Brett was telling me about some people he he's afraid of. Because he has my friends, our friends, and it sucks. Dude. Yeah, he told me about this guy named Cinnamon Jack. Yeah. yeah. It seems like the solar plunge is working again. Okay. Alright guys, to watching 24 Lives, let's give a cheers. This is the Burglar Brett. Hopefully he'll have mercy on my brother and Jimmy if we don't make the goal. Very good. Oh boy. <coughs> I hope Burglar Brett doesn't uh, do anything too drastic out of his uh, desperation. Oh. All right, guys, the Paranormal Dark Cast. If we can just get one more sale over $5.80, then Burglar Brett will release my brother, and he will go away, and then we can watch some more scary stuff. Rebake says, I'm back, guys. Is everyone safe and sound still? No. Explain, Isaac. Rebake, um, no. Um, Jimmy and Chibo are still trapped. They're still in the custody of Burglar Brett. He, um, Asshole. He, we've only managed to rally a $4.20 out of the $10. And that's that's not good enough. We only have pretty much two minutes right now. It's two minute warning. Um, and if we don't get 580, then we don't know. They're, he's gonna keep Jimmy and uh, Chibo. And uh, yeah, that's the all, that's all we've heard. So there you go. If we can get someone to throw in a, a five dollar and eighty cent donation to fulfill his ten dollar ransom fee, then we'll we'll. We'll be in good shape. We'll get the boys back. It's true. Free bakes that shit, guys. Yeah. I'm having a shit right now. Oh, I forgot my guitar. I'm feeling inspired right now to make a song of Pete. All right. There you go. All right. Um, so this is it, guys. This is the last uh, last few minutes here. Um, <coughs> uh, just so you know, that's uh, 580 US, 767 Canadian dollars that we need uh, in order to free Chibo. And Jerry. Free, free my brother. Yeah. Free, free, free my Jimmy. Yeah. Free, free, free my brother. Free, burglar break on my brother and Jimmy. Free! Yeah. Free! You gotta free my brother from Burger Bread. There you go. Free! Free! My brother <laughs> and Jimmy. You gotta, gotta fucking free him! Free them from my brother! Free my little Jimmy! You gotta free him! Free! Free my brother! Yeah, there you go. Free! Free! Free my Jimmy! Hey! <laughs> you gotta free my brother! Hey! And hey! Free my Jimmy! Who are we gonna call? They need to be free! Can't you see? Alright, let's take this call. Caller. Oh, oh! Hello, caller. Caller, you're live. 580. Nice. From Bone Soup. Yes. Bone hey, Soup. This is Cinnamon Jack. Cinnamon, Cinnamon Jack. Jack. Who is this? No. Yeah. It's Cinnamon Jack. What does that mean? That's fucking yeah. Burger Bread Spread. That's no way. Yeah. Bone Soup. Made a sale. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know it. Oh, my brother, they're going to be free. 
That is good, and I guess that means that we uh, are staying oh on God. for a little bit. That puts us at 37.63. I gotta go tell them that they're free. All right, hey, man. Ricky, play that song about Cinnamon Jack. Cinnamon Do Jack it. song? You gotta send me 10 bucks, and I'll send you the Cinnamon Jack song. 10 bucks, Cinnamon Jack. That's the. It's only fair because that's what we charge people for any request. I think he's gone. We're live on the NAR tapes now. All right, hell yeah! So, um, so we got a hero. We got the 580 and from Bone uh, Soup. From Bone Soup. Jimmy, our Australian booking agency. Jimmy and um, Chibo are now free. And that was a weird, crazy call from Cinnamon Jack. Shh. It's huh. like who is that? <laughs> I wonder. Cinnamon Jack gave be? a call to the show. What the fuck got, could that be? We got someone who's decided that. Uh, there's another one. Now there's another. What was that noise? <coughs> Hello. Oh damn! Hello. Yeah. Just a second. Who's that? That's a. Uh, It just it just reconnected, easy peasy. It seemed like it was uh, it was just on. Huh? It wasn't on the background. Well, friends are free. For that light. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Oh yeah. Uh, can we see them? Set. Yeah. Can we see? Yes. I want to make sure they're okay. Did you guys see any ghosts? We're free. We can hear them. Um, I think the rock moved just a hair, though. All right. Your friends are free. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> now, thank you, Burglar Brett. That'll teach you to go ghost hunting in amateurs again. I'm Burglar Brett. Ghost hunter. <laughs> All, right. All right. Burglar Brett, go. ghost hunter. Our friends are I like a the character community. that evolves a lot. That's part of why yeah. Dragon Ball Z is so cool. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. So Burglar Brett, ghost <clears throat> hunter. Um, it's a good way. It turns to... out he was teaching them a lesson for. I guess he had to hold the high standard ghost hunting. Yeah, you gotta be good. Maybe I thought they were doing good. Maybe Jimmy's uh, question series. Was Welcome so back. Good. Welcome back. back. How are you guys? Uh, Did wow. he feed you? No. Uh, you no. guys got the back door? Actually, it's hard to food. You guys got the back door? The back door? I went to the front door to see if you guys were coming out. Oh, yeah. The, 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 I guess that, uh, oh. that's this burglar, burglar Brett left him out the back door. I was going to yeah. go greet them in the front door like at the airport back in the day. Oh, yeah. All right, we're back. Okay, no more burglar Brett for the rest of the night. No more burglar Brett for the rest of the night. <laughs> no, all right. Yeah, because Brebeck said, I need a hero. I want a boy hero to the end of the night. And he's gonna be strong, and he's gonna be fast, and he's gonna yeah. be fresh from the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Shane says, if I ever encounter a ghost, I want to be a, a rape ghost. A ghost are scary, like, about a ghost raping you, that's real fear. That's fucked up. Yeah, ghost that rapes is definitely are fucked up. That's definitely not what you want to be. Um, he freed, he freed my brother. <laughs> And he free, he free my Jenna. Jimmy! Jimmy! <laughs> he free, he free my brother! Oh! Hey! He free, free my Jimmy! Oh! And they gotta be free! Yeah! 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 Free my brother! <laughs> Jimmy! You know what? Free, free my brother! Free! 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 Free my Jimmy! They gotta be free! Fifty bucks, I'll make that into a real song for somebody. There you go. Otherwise, it was just a little thing uh, on the Narrative Network. That's cheap. Ooh, that's Fifty cheap. bucks now. Fifty that's bucks song, right song, now. Buddy. Shit, fifty bucks, man. That's nothing. True. Yeah, I'll even say your name and I'll say, Free Fan Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> free my Rocky Pack. I'll shout everybody out. Yeah. 
But I'll shout you out the biggest if you pay. Uh, what did that was that five eighty for? That was for the uh, um, the rest of the amount. You get them free. And they called. Oh, he's free. Free. And then Cinnamon Jack called. Cinnamon Jack called, and Brent, he did not agree to send ten bucks. But I thought Cinnamon Jack might have. Uh, Cinnamon Jack. Cinnamon Jack. Cinnamon Jack. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Jack. Yeah. Nice. I'll give, you a little, I'll give you a little sample of this. Cinnamon Jack, Cinnamon Jack, I'm a Cinnamon Jack, Cinnamon Jack, I'm a Cinnamon Jack, Cinnamon Jack, Cinnamon Jack, Cinnamon Jack. That's all you get, though. What do you think of uh, 20 bucks for a preview of the first ever bounce that we made for our new Freeway and Uncle Funko record? Oh, if you get 20 bucks. Uh, or shit, we just get one more sale. Yeah. Let's get one more sale. Yeah. yeah. And we fucking will play our new song, uh, Jamaica to Japan. It is fucking <laughs> so good. It's lit, bro. Play just a second of it. All right, just a second. Get a little sample. Yeah. Let's get them sales, and you'll get uh, and, and we'll play you the, our new sick ass song, uh, that I sing on and Funkle uh produced. It's for our new album we're making together. Free with Uncle Funkle. Uh, don't know what's gonna be, album's gonna be called yet. For your it's, consideration. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right. At your discretion. Free knuckle fungal at your discretion. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> at your discretion. Hold on, we'll play a little sample of it. Yeah, sorry, let me... It's gonna the be first, like, like 30 like... seconds or whatever, a sampler. Put it in free, the fun Funkle free, Fitness. Free like a friend, my... The <laughs> instrumental has been in the Funkle Fitness playlist, so yeah. you guys might know it. Oh, that's the way. That's it, yeah. There you go, dude, yeah. Up, down, here we go. Everybody, I don't see you do I'm out with the plan. Just make a little prayer. I got some money in my hand. You see the other man. Oh, 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 oh. So get in a sale, we can play that song. Give it, it a sale, tight, we'll right? play it for you guys. Sale, buy a pin. What's that? That, uh, that was the last one. Uh, mm. <laughs> 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 All right, um, so let's see. We got, do, you, do you have any other creepy videos we can play? Um. Oh, let's see. Uh, let me see if I can find one. You got one? Alright, guys. You got one, uh, Jimmy, Isaac? I don't. So I want to watch the, uh, the Men in Black one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put the Men in Black one again. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, too yeah. Good. It's too good. Let me get it's to fun. it. It's fun. It's a fun one. Uh, you two go. Oh, those grandma says, have you guys seen Scary Terry? Um. Uh, No. It makes sense. Fuck, my socks are all wet. This shit fucking sucks. I hate walking around with wet shoes and socks. Yeah, that is the worst. Shane Boss says, Fungo's all looking all deliverance in those overalls. Yeah. Deliverance 2, Piggy's back on the river. Piggy's back on the river. I want to watch that. Shee! I haven't seen that shit in a while. That movie's fucked up. Yeah. That movie is fucked up. Oh, shit. That was fuck. epic. I thought for a second that was going to be a crazy sale. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. That was going to be a crazy Increase the volume. <laughs> <laughs> Like a five hundred dollar sale, like, like <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Did you at least look up Chupacabra? Look up okay. The, yeah, all right. Look up Chupacabra. Uh, after the, after this, the yeah, repeat of this fun one. Yeah. I just love this one. It's so good. It's just like what the it's fuck? Fun. If nothing, it's fun. If anything, and what's this contest where this one put the fuck video of the year? Yeah. So it's pretty simple. Starts off driving around. It's like in Europe, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Heard of them. Yeah. They all look exactly the same. Their hair and shit. Well, and they're all moving the exact. They're all rep like rep they look like they're repeated. That, that like the move like. Yeah, it's weird, dude.
Oh, yeah, I wasn't even on the camera. Yeah, that's what was good, too. Yeah, that's what was good, too. Yeah, that's what was good, too. Es que digo, yo que sé, tío, se va a dar un pluma, tío. ¿Lo has dado? The feather is what makes me think that this is bogus. Besides the fact that it's bogus. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm just gonna go, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and like, just think everyone is bogus. And I'm just gonna base them on how much I like them. And how much they're whack. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> 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 hey, what the fuck? You're going to see a what? Venga. Like, fuck that. Dang, All right. right. Well. Brought to you by McDonald's. Yo. So, uh. Oops. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, by Angry shit. Orchard. All right, if we don't get another sale in the next uh, three minutes, we're done. Yeah. 11.30 is the cutoff this time. 11.30. Yeah. They gave you a two and a half hour show. That's not bad, right? Good. We had a live paranormal investigation. We uh, we foiled Burger, Burglar Brett once again and his dastardly plots. That's right. Uh, we saw some really good videos. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's play another really good video. Let's look up Chupacabra. Yeah, look up Chupacabra. Keep going if we get another sale and we'll play Mind of Fungal's new song. Yeah, one more sale. Um, we'll sound a little bit longer and then we'll get to hear the whole new song. Uh, a chupacabra is a cryptid creature first reported in 1995 to have killed eight sheep. That's hat, dude. Yeah. Nice shirt. Me. It is you often described as four and a half to five feet tall. Alien like eyes that glow red. With feathery spines, it starts to dragon face monster man drawing. And yeah, see, so see. Its victims are primarily farm oh. animals like sheep or cows who have had the blood completely drained from their bodies <laughs> through three puncture wounds in the neck. El Chupacabra sightings have been on the rise all around the world. Got Chupacabra. But has any of them been confirmed <laughs> to be a real Chupacabra? Two of the most recent sightings occurred in Texas, with both creatures being caught on camera. Scott Black of Houston, Texas, took photos of a strange creature he described as big, that looks long, like a coyote. With ears, a long tail, and no skin or fur. Animal control expert Claude Griffin believes it's Let's just an unfortunate result of someone's attempt at crossbreeding exotic pets. To me, it just looks like a wild dog in the loose. <laughs> then in Radcliffe, Texas, the Stock family has caught what they believe to be a baby chupacabra. As you can see in the video, it is small, hairless, and has large claws. Brent Ortego, a wildlife diversity biologist with the Texas Park and Wildlife, has a different opinion. He says it's just a small canine that's suffering from mange. In the Kolomna region of Russia, just 100 kilometers south of Moscow, a farmer woke up to find 30 of his sheep had been attacked and killed by some unknown creature. There was a significant amount of blood, as the sheep's arteries had been cut to suck out the blood. This was a typical style of killing associated with the chupacabra, which began to make its presence known in Russia since April of 2006. According to the farmer, 30 creatures were virtually drained, and they had experienced a similar attack earlier that year when I'd they lost like eight sheep. Did that. Yeah. However, a local <laughs> official went on record saying the stray dogs were most likely the culprits, totally. and our veterinarian doctors had dismissed the talk of drained blood. All the sheep had a working heart muscle, so there is no chupacabra, she said. The farmer, of course, completely disagreed, <laughs> claiming it would That'd be nearly impossible for sale stray noise. dogs to be able to overcome the large fence that surrounded his sheep. To this day, there has been no credible evidence to support the existence of a chupacabra. Through testing and evaluations, creatures that have been caught or bodies that have been discovered all turned out to be exactly what Brent Ortego stated, some sort of canine suffering from mange. The original and most important chupacabra description cannot be trusted. This guy's like debunking chupacabra. Skeptic Benjamin Bradford. After a five year investigation into the eyewitness account from Madeline Tolentino of Sick. Puerto Rico that launched the legend, it became apparent that her description was influenced by the creature from the sci fi horror film Species. 
Miss Tolentino believed that the future <laughs> and events in the movie were actually occurring in Puerto Rico, and this seriously undermines the credibility of the chupacabra as a real animal, according to Bradford. Sounds like quite the conspiracy. So, now I ask you, what do you think is more likely to exist, <laughs> chupacabra or Bigfoot? More on the conspiracy <laughs> of Bigfoot, I invite you to check out this video from our friends over at All Time Conspiracies. Nice. Wow. Yet another great video from Epic Wildlife. It seems the evidence for and against the existence of the chupacabra is compelling in either direction, just like the evidence for and against the existence of Bigfoot, that other great American legend. So head on over to All Time Conspiracies where we right, look at the evidence for and against car. the car. I think we know that one pretty good. Yeah, I've seen that one. Uh, Jesse was an entity 1981 trailer. DLV says LMAO Baby Chupa. Uh, reason is, uh, it's not very normal. There's a video of me almost chopping my foot off with an axe on YouTube. Pretty scary for me, at least. LOL, LOL. Shunner Mang says, this reminds me of skunk apes. Shade Boss says, urban explorers encounter the rake. Uh, Brie Bank says, I want his hat. DDO says, L, I need that shirt. <laughs> Got you, Macabre. Yeah. Pop Dose Grandma says, you guys ever drink so much you black out and wake up the next morning naked covered in blood next to a cow carcass? Or is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's just not me. Bro. Yeah, not me. All right, guys, it looks like we are already two minutes past our goal time, and we're going to have to cut the stream. All we did right, not so. make any sales uh, in time to uh, keep it going, and for you to hear Mine and Funkle's new song, uh, which uh, it's really a shame because it is really, really good. It's and, good song. Yeah, it's Great a, song. It's going to be on our new album. That's like that's the first song we finished for our new album. But since I guess like you guys don't even want to pay even like a dollar to hear it, I guess it... Uh, not going down. It was a good episode, though. Yeah, a really good episode. Really a lot cool. of very um, um, a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, it's very scary. Yeah, a lot of stuff did happen. Maybe happened <laughs> once or twice. What? Uh, what? Give next to Cal Carcass DW says, "LOL." I'm just giving. A, I'm just trying to stall a little bit, just in case that the uh, PayPal is lagging and maybe somebody was trying. Trying. Uh, I think always give a few. What are you looking at, Paul? I I just put an urban. Explorers encounter rank. I guess we might as well play a few yeah. more videos. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's fake. Yeah, that's definitely fake. Um, but I'm imagining it's a compilation. Maybe they're all fake. Oh, it's like a compilation. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Play it. Obviously fake. Yeah. <laughs> what is a rake? Is it just a legend, or does this monster really exist? The rake is described as a six-foot-tall, gray-skinned humanoid with large fingers and/or claws on its hands. In some tellings of the story, the rake has an almost hairless, canine look to it. Periodically, people catch videos of a rake all over the world. The very first time a rake was recorded in the USA was in 1957. Within four years from that from what? time, more than 50 rake appearances were witnessed in Wyoming, Alabama, that. Oklahoma, and Illinois. He says, well, well, yeah, they're all fake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> creatures. I asked you if you wanted me to show you video where this mysterious creature, the rake, was caught on camera. I received a lot of positive answers. And as promised, I'm now presenting man, videos with was the most quite believable, the time to be alive, eh? alleged Going videos my footage YouTube of the channel. rake. Was even this real? video comes from Russia. We I don't know, man. We always heard coming from this abandoned house. Like hey, An urban explorer decided to take a pistol with him like and the whole life, the not just these videos. This video is strictly a sale buff for you guys. What? Oh, okay. In 2011 in the USA, the owner of a house heard weird noises coming from his roof. 
He took his camera with him in order to figure out what was going on up there. Here is what he recorded. Hey, Frank! I got you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a loud one. Yeah, that's a classic image. A similar incident too. happened with a different man, yeah. but it has a much better view this since it good. wasn't as yeah. dark outside. This one's better. That one, like... Yeah. That's better than the, the, the other ones. So the Jeepers Creepers guy is kind of like a rake. Hmm. No, he's like a winged demon. In this next video, an urban explorer was attacked by a rake. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, come on. We have to get out of this fucking place. <laughs> the, pig, the pig sound. This video was recorded in Texas near Lake Travis. A few friends were camping in the woods. Oh, man, video, video games, you can see a strange creature yeah, for sure. that looks like a humanoid monster run right behind the guys. <laughs> Most of this next video has a very bad quality. It is a video from Urban Explorers <laughs> that recorded a rake during the day. Most likely this video is fake, but it will still give you chills if you watch this at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like the house we partied at in uh, Marquette. Go upstairs, go upstairs, go upstairs. Because I want to get the shit on video. I want to get the shit on video, man. Shh, 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 shh. Nice. <laughs> Maybe it's just like maybe they're just like homeless squatters that have like come up with this to scare people away from. from that might be a pombero. Here are two more similar appearances of the rake in a forest. The well, LB says, uh, "Look up the leprechaun sighting video." That's kinda, yeah. That's kind of normal. It's pretty. That's a good call there. Uh, Bob Dylan seconds that. Free bake third to that. Shane says bad quality, no shit. Yeah, it's, it's fun though. I like the one on the roof. That one's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I've seen that one a bunch of times. And Bob Dylan says they're acting like they're thirsting to crack it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what a good video. Uh, what a great video. And it's paranormal. All right, we're going to put the Leprechaun video and then we're out. Yeah, this is it. This is uh, what you guys get. This is the winning. This is a, from you guys, the Donation Nation. You you asked for it, and we're going to give it to you. I sing the, I say, give me the, I want the gold. Give me the gold. I say that sometimes. Yeah. Well, just in time for St. Patrick's Day, crowds are coming <laughs> by the dozens to get an up-close view of what some say is a piece of Irish folk folklore. Some people in the Crichton area of Mobile say a leprechaun has taken up residence in their neighborhood. A leprechaun. BC 15's <laughs> Brian Johnson has more. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community. Many of you bring binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looks like a level kind to me. I got to do a little bit of treat. Who else in the level kind say yeah? yeah. <laughs> Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is this casting a shadow from the other limb. Could someone tell me all about A joint of weed, a joint of weed. 
you have better what is that? better yeah, action, you? more activities and more individual parties going on. You have better parties, better social life. Well, I think they added some special stuff to this video. Is that it? There's like there's more. There's other parts. They like added. You gotta stay along there, guy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. This guy helping to direct traffic says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. This water is all uh, smells right here. This is a special leprechaun. Yeah, they like edited it up. Is this the right one? No. It passed down from thousands of years ago from my great great grandfather who was alive. Yeah, that one on the right there. That's the one. I just came to help. The top right. Steve, I don't drink no wine. Whiskey is better than either. So seventeen. This one has seventeen thousand views. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Crap. Yeah, this one is. Oh man. For his encounter with the leprechaun, he suited up from head to toe. This one is all smells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute. This has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great great grandfather who was Irish. And I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. I'm gonna run a back on the hook root that tree. I wanna know where the gold is. I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want the gold. This is Brian Johnson, NBC 15 News. People will do anything for a pot of gold. I mean, anything. You know what I like? I like the amateur sketch of the leprechaun. Yeah. It looks like somebody got a really good look at it and got that good drawing of it. Who did that? I want to know who sketched it. I don't know. Maybe Brian sketched it. <laughs> do the that was a good story. <laughs> the crowd started gathering around sunset. Is it, is it not a bear? It's a spectacle. It's a face. A face. The eyes. The nose. The mouth. The people who see the leprechaun say you can see it better at night. And that's when the crowds really start coming out. Now step back so me out to see it. If you just look right there in the middle, you see it, right? Can you see it? Can you see it? Lucky smiling right now. I want to see it. If it's here, I want to see it. When it's going to pop up? Well, actually, my brother came in from Atlanta last Sunday night. And we were standing out, standing around, and he said, Y'all not going to believe this, but it's like a man is up in that tree. And we were like, Man, you crazy. Pretty soon, there were more people creating traffic jams, all to see what has become known as the Leprechaun. And he was smiling. He was smiling, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, then one minute, and then in one moment, wow. I thought he tipped his head. What do you think about all the crowds that have come? What has it been like the last couple of nights as far as grass? It looks like Mardi Gras. All we need is some float. Now, some people say <laughs> they've seen the leprechaun, and some people <laughs> say they haven't. But one thing's for sure, nobody's found a pot of gold yet. Reporting for Mobile, Steve Alexander, News 5. Steve Alexander. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to uh, look uh, that guy up. <laughs> DW says, I want to know where the gold at. Green Bay says, Elvis will forever be gold. Shane Bull says, I know that dude. Ultra Creeper. DDLB says, give me the gold. Shane says, as always, Mel, that's a damn good show. Town. Thank you for tuning in, Shane. Really Steve Alexander Fox. Uh, says, all right, Steve, thank you very that, much yeah, for that maybe, live report. Maybe they're all right. Shane says, they pick the smartest people to talk to. Mm. And they, they, the news usually does that. Uh, Jess W. Thing called mass hallucination. I've read. Oh. Yeah. Guy gets sucked into engine. Yeah. Uh, she must. I remember my first gas huff. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, uh, Bob have you seen Leprechaun in the Hood? Oh yeah. yeah. A friend with gold. A friend with weed is a friend indeed. Yeah. But a friend with gold is better. I'm told. Yeah. Sure. And that. Uh, speaking of friend with gold is better. I'm told. We did not make any more sales, so we're gonna cut the stream now, guys. All right, y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in to yep. the Paranormal Narcast. What a good episode. Thank you to everybody who uh, who, who donated and uh, liked the uh, video and subscribed. We love you guys, and we'll see you really soon. Uh, watch tomorrow for Nard Tapes Night Live. I just want to say one last thing before we go. Thank you so much to Burglar Brett if you're out there watching. Um, it's really nice to not be trapped anymore, and uh, thank you very much for letting me and my friend Dane go. Thank you, Burglar uh, Brett. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow.
All right. Everybody yeah. says a, good night. Super Shane says bye. Bob Dylan's grandma says bye, guys. Bree says good night, everyone. Love you all. Shauna says good night. Jess W says in space. Uh, DW says bye, y'all. Jess W says night, y'all. Good, good night. night. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's tune in tomorrow for uh, Narc Tapes Night Live. This is true. Ready? Yes. Bye. bye. Good night.